Is that good? Are we unmute it now? Thank you, Robotnik. I said welcome on in. Let me repeat my let me just let me just hang on. Should I, should I just start streaming stop stop streaming start studio over again? Redo, redo? No, but for real. Uh welcome on in. We're gonna do two day two of the DLC. Uh that dupe was squeaking and making noise, it was kind of funny. No, you are not unmuted. No, you are not unmuted. Wait. I I'm making noises, Robotnik. There's there's sounds, I can see it now. Anyways. Now I've lost track. We're gonna start day two of the, this new DLC save. Um, I've been uploading the VODs directly to YouTube. I, they're really long. I can't edit most of them on YouTube, but well, let me turn them up. Our upload speed is atrociously bad, believe it or not. Even though we overlap and stream sometimes, it's like just just enough for us to overlap and stream. Uh, Staff and I, that is. But uh, I, we don't have we don't have enough bandwidth to realistically download seven hour VODs, four hour VODs, whatever they are, and then edit and then re-upload consistently, like, well. Cause it will take me longer to upload than it will take me for me to edit most of those, which is un un unfortunate. But if I do it through the, if I do it through Twitch, the video summary thing, it takes like a matter of minutes. So, there we are. Okay, let's get some music on and we'll, we'll start this. And I don't know where we're at. I kind of forgot what we were doing in the save or, or what point we're at. Um, we'll do lo-fi today. So no copyright lo-fi, some lofi to chill, relax, slash Ani to. Where were we in this save? Uh, so we had a couple layers of farms going on. We had a couple layers of, um, yeah. Okay, we had these, we had the pit farming going. We had bathrooms set up. We just have manual generators right now. We had some hatchling farms going. Uh, this new critter that I never met before, Sweetles. Looks like they were cleaning things up. Can confirm no can confirm no fruit in this house. Um We did get this going. They need electricity. I kind of want to just ma do manual generation for a while so we can maybe get that achievement. I I think it'd be fun. I've never gotten the achievement for the manual generation of power. So, I figure what we'll do is we'll have them do that for a hot minute. We need a rock crusher. I think that's our next big thing. Um, that and researching more. I don't know how to use the research queue thing. I really wished I knew how to use the research queue. But I just don't know how to do it. Uh, I would like to do hydrogen generation and just get a spawn going. We don't have access to a lot of water, but I think, if I'm not mistaken, we did find a cool... Didn't we find a geyser? Or is that a different save? Am I losing it? Hold shift and select? Oh. Oh. Oh, that's beautiful. That is amazing. That is amazing. Okay, thank you so much. I didn't know how that worked. I appreciate that so dearly. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. We're just going to research everything, quite frankly. It's a, it's a mod, but I didn't know how to use it. I had it installed, but I've never used it because I couldn't figure out how to use it. Um, so we need a rock crusher. We need, where's that? I swear there was a cool salt. Am I losing it? Review the footage. Holy smokes is Asia. How's it going avocado? Oh, there it is. Okay. I'm not crazy. Well, I am crazy, but like uh, not for that reason. Sick. Okay. Absolutely beautiful. What's a grub fruit? Why does it cause radiation? Why does it eat sulfur? These are things we need to know. Oh, boy. 
How's everybody doing tonight, though? How's Monday? How, how was everybody's weekend? I should welcome everybody in by name, like I normally do. How's it going, music? Welcome it in. How's it going, eyes? How's it going? Uh, who's next? Ivo, how's it going? Hiatus. How's it going? Uh, check it, robot, and everything. How's it going, Asia? How's it going, Steph? How, how is everybody? How's it going, music? I think I got everybody. If I miss anybody's names, it's not person. I just most of the time can't read or see. Mostly the seeing part. I'm all right. So I don't know if anybody caught my Discord message. Um, so yeah, DLC content. Why can I not see that blue? Yeah, we got DLC content. We're gonna work on it. I'm learning it. Um, if you guys didn't see my Discord, I, I didn't make it like into an announcement or anything. So recently we were storing a lot of stuff from my parents. Um, a lot of stuff, like a lot of stuff. We won't talk about that. Maybe someday, not today. We were storing a lot of stuff and they recently, my dad picked it all up. Well, not all of it, like a majority of it, like 99% of it, 90% of it, we'll say. And so I do a lot of, I don't want to say woodworking or like mechanics or engineering. I like, I tinker, like I just tinker. I don't have a specific like goal or orientation. I just tinker. I take stuff apart. I rebuild it, solder stuff. I do a lot of car work. I just, I, I mess with stuff, right? Disassemble, reassemble, whatever. I, I've wanted to do woodworking. I've done some silly little projects like making you know, like just shelves and you know, I've made some, I've made some boxes. I've, um, the house, the little like, the little animal house. What? What'd you just say? Oh, did you burn yourself? Steph might have burned herself a little bit. Sorry about the, that. So, as I was saying, um, I like to take, take things apart, right? Like, I, I do a little bit of welding. I do a little bit of woodworking. I've, I, I've taken apart engines. Like, I do, I do a little bit of everything. I just keep me busy. I like working with my hands. So, I have, when we bought this house, I think she's okay. Are you okay? Asia would like to know. She's okay. Thanks for asking. When I bought this house... There's a nice little nook in the basement that the original owner or the previous owner, I should say, had like a, a, a shop set up in. Well, unfortunately, everything kind of got crammed into it and I've used it. There's a workbench back there and I've used it, but I've never had good accessibility to it. I've always had to do the whole like shuffle the shimmy, you know, to like walk by stuff. And there's been stuff stored in the floor. Well, for the first time in four years, four years, there's nothing on the floor. I have complete direct access to the back wall. I don't have to shimmy. I don't have to move funny. I don't have to step around stuff. I don't have to worry about stepping on it. Like I have complete access to it. So it's very exciting because that's gonna give me access to, I have like near every tool to do woodworking. I really wanna get into woodworking kind of like, um, I don't know what I want to do specifically, more like uh, practical things. Like I want to build a, a some kind of like unit, not necessarily a shelving unit, but like some kind of thing for back here, just to kind of store some of my computer stuff, uh, like old motherboards that we have laying around, old, you know, just hard drives and stuff, just a nice drawer system of some sort, but also a tabletop for like my mouse pads. Cause you guys, if you guys aren't, if you're new around here, we did a lot of aim training. I still enjoy it and I still really like playing FPS like style games, but I would like some way to display that. I have a lot more rocks, believe it or not. If you're if you're new or, or somewhat new around here or just kind of forgot, um, I used to collect a lot of rocks and kind of like plants, if you will. So I just want more space to like display those things and ha be happy to have them rather than hoard them. Um, we're working downsize digital cost of tooling. Ironically, I have most of the tools. Welcome on in though. Ironically, I have so much. I have so much and I'm so grateful for it. I got a lot of hand, hand me downs, if you will. Uh, my grandpa was uh, a construction, he did construction. Uh, he built home, he was a home builder basically and a handyman for 50 plus years. When he passed, uh, a lot of things did end up going to me. So I have uh, miter saws, table saws, uh, drill presses, grinders, planers, uh, you name it, I have it. Like I, there's a lot of stuff and I'm very thankful for that. Um, but I, I just never had the space in pack. Like I never had the, mostly the space. I'm going to, I'm going to be completely honest. It's mostly the space because if you've ever tried to work on anything and you're in small space, you're asking for accidents. You're just asking for accidents. You're asking for cuts, burns, bruises, and et cetera. Like you really are. Um, you can get things done. You, you know, you always will, but like the, the spaces have been the majority of things. So now, um, 
wrapping up the whole the whole I'm gonna try to get back on track here. I, I derail in tangent quite often. So I would like to make functional goods. Functional goods. But also, I think it would be fun. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I'm not huge into this stuff, but I think it would be fun to make like prop stuff. I'm not huge into that, but I, I'm curious, if you will. I wanna explore it. Um, and not necessarily just prop things, but like uh, tarnished, you like fake the tarnish and, and, and wear and patina of things. So like boxes, um, I don't know, you name it, but like, <laughs> that's where I wanna go. So we'll see. Maybe I'll start kind of sharing it with you guys in Discord or otherwise. Oh, it's cool then, you good uh, quality table saw, it's core tool. Yeah, and planer and joiner, yep. The only thing, I don't have a joiner. Um, I have some funds I could probably go get some things like that. I probably plan to secondhand. I really like using old stuff too. Uh, again, the whole saying, you know, they don't make things like they used to. A lot of things are true in that yeah. sense. Not, some modern tools are really nice to have, but some things are just really nice to have old stuff that works well. We're gonna go with that. Sorry your thumbs burnt stuff. That really stinks. Do I want a good table style with jigs and endless possibilities? Yeah, I mean, honestly, woodworking is one of those things I truly believe. Um, it's kind of like mechanics. A lot of people get too, a lot of people get into like mechanical work, like with vehicles and small engines, right? Um, and they think they have to have every tool. I'm here to tell you, you do not. You don't. If you have ingenuity, you have a drive and you have a desire, you'll make a lot of tools work in ways that they probably weren't um intended to but not necessarily are they unsafe to do so if that makes sense uh it's just you have to be a little bit into it to really understand why and how you can use those things in a little bit different of a manner and i truly believe with woodworking like if you have something to cut and join that's pretty much all you need like truthfully you can you can make things work yeah metal is more yeah yeah that is true that is true that is true that is true Like, but my, my point of the matter, like my point in that saying is it, it truthfully, like if you have something to cut and join, um, you're 90% of the way there. Now other tools do make it easier. And that's the same thing with mechanics or any type of even electrical repair. More tools do make it easier and allow you to do more. Um, Melding versus glue, big difference? Not really. <laughs> I call it a hot, I call it a metal hot glue gun. Ask Steph, she can vouch. I call it a metal hot glue gun all the time. Dude, a welder is just a metal hot glue gun. I'm sorry, it, it is. It spits hot metal out. That's, I mean, it's the same thing. Well, it doesn't, it depends on what welder you're using if it spits hot metal out, but you know what I mean? I mean, tool wise, that is true, yeah. No, but I just really enjoy it. I really enjoy just tinkering and making things. And I, I haven't, you know, been trained on any of things, things in any way. I have my YouTube certificate as I joke. Uh, basically, if, if you can YouTube it and have the patience to read and watch and really gather a base of knowledge about it, um, you can go far with a lot of those hobbies. So, yep, you guys want to see, see me kind of geek out about some stuff I've made or doing, I'll probably. Uh, Share them with you if you guys are interested and they're excited about that. Let me know in Discord and be like, hey, what you working on? Because, you know, that will help drive that as well. I think you also did work week in school. Yeah, no, I haven't um, I haven't done anything like that. I'm in dev now, like like software development, because that's also something I'm, I'm wanting to kind of study and get into. <laughs> that's hysterical. It seems like a lot of people that come around in Ani are in computer science of some sort. That's amazing, though. I do a lot of hobby, like hobby stuff. I wouldn't even call it programming. Like it's it's just using C, C sharp, C plus plus to like make small tools. Yeah, um, just to make like automation and small tools. Uh, and I've used Python for things as well. And so just mostly like automation of things or uh, just simplification of things, you know, yeah, we don't have good o We need to get oxygen being made. Like, we have to. Yes, it does. I'm not good at soldering. Um, I'm good at, like, basic soldering. Like, I can join wires and stuff. But, like, when it comes down to... I mean, I've worked on motherboards before, and they work completely fine after I'm done, but it doesn't mean I'm good at it. Does that make sense? 
Like, I've repaired small electronics and they work, but it doesn't mean it was a good job. Speaking of fall 2, I finally made a Python script that aggregates all my bank and CC statements and I can finally look at all my spending one big spreadsheet. Hey, that's very nice. That's a good tool. That's a good tool. That is a good tool. Okay, so what do we got for oxygen generation? I mean, we have, okay, so let's be fair. We do have access to water. We almost never have access to water. I love the spam idea, but I also don't mind the rusty oxidizer idea because that can be very, very simply made uh, just to just plop, plop, chlorine, oxygen, pipe it out. <laughs> companies suck at anything resembling a standard. See, credit card companies, is that what you're saying? CC companies? I assume you're saying credit card company. Okay. Yeah. Just for a reminder, in case anyone's not heard it today, you are all amazing. You're amazing, AJ. I appreciate that. I think I think a lot of us need to hear that, and I'm I'm glad that you're around to share it. The Uno reverse card. Actually, literally. So Asia's the reason that there is an Uno reverse card on my desk. For that exact reason. It happened close to a year ago. <laughs> Your durian grape. Um, what do we think about oxygen generation all? What, what do we got for rust? Let's take a look at rust first. We have 73... 0.4 tons of rust. Let's change our let's change our research. Hang on. Is there a way to clear research? All right. So let's go into We have access to air pumps. We need some automation and delivery systems. Dying Cat, yeah, it's the Dying Cat song. It sure is. Um, can someone help me with words? T thing that picks up items. T shapes, no, not a, is it a sweeper? Not the sweep, auto sweeper, thank you, there we go. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Yes, 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 yes. The claw, how's it going, Abby? Welcome on in. The claw. Yeah, that's what we're looking for. That, and then I need the, um, these guys. Solid transport, and potentially these. So let's get that going, because we can get a good oxygen generation set up going with that. Um, we don't have oxygen right now. We might have to just make something and deal with the consequences later. What can we use to get rid of chlorine? Besides filtration systems. Because this is not going, this is not acceptable. This isn't going to work. Like, this is not going to work. I just don't find a usage for them. Uh, have you played with the new automation modules? I have not. I haven't played that much on a believe, like to, to be completely honest. Um, I'm a big noob. I only have like 200 hours and most of it's from like a previous save that was on stream that just that, that's, I pretty much just played on stream and that's it. All right, but on that regard, let's, um, I'm trying to think what to do here. For starters, let's get another oxy fern down here. How much carbon dioxide are we dealing with? Not a lot, surprisingly. Not a lot, surprisingly. Is there a plant that consumes chlorine? Mm -hmm. 
I believe there is, is there not? Yeah, isn't, doesn't the salt plant consume chlorine? More vent between the layers. Yeah, I'm working on using deodorizers. Uh, there's a new one? Hang on. What do you use, sulfur? Okay. Very, very end game. Okay. Polluted water. Okay. I could have sworn. Because this bomb lily doesn't actually consume it, it just needs the atmosphere of chlorine gas. Yeah. Um. Does, I feel it. I thought that said my leg and then the SpongeBob thing played in my head. My leg! That's a salt vine? Yeah, isn't, isn't that, is that, that's what I'm thinking of. Doesn't that consume it? Or am I losing my mind? Effects, six grams for it does consume it. It does consume it. That's what I thought, yeah. Do I have dash of salt vine seeds? I don't think I do. I do! Do those have to grow from the ceiling and do they need salt water? Hang on, that's why they don't work in here because they have to grow upside down, don't they? And they need salt water, if I'm not mistaken. No, don't stash a salt vine grow from the ceiling as well. So what I'm thinking is, I mean, realistically to get some oxygen going right now, we could make, you can do farm tiles upside down too. Yeah, that's true, that's true, that's true. Let's do this. I have an idea. I have an idea. Just a temporary idea. Just a quick little fix, right? Gas grass that needs liquid chlorine? Oh, yeah, that sounds pretty in game. I don't think we're there yet. All right, here's what we'll do. I got an idea. Are they all sleeping? Yeah, I got an idea. We'll do this to start. They use how much per second you said? Six grams per second? Six grams per second. How many seconds in a cycle? Six hundred. Okay, so they'll use thirty six hundred grams per cycle. That's that should work out. Well, you gave me the taste to play Ani back. Uh, installing ATM. There you go. Love to hear it. I actually, I love to hear that so much. These do need chlorine gas and sand.
Oh, yeah. They actually don't. Guys, I'm trying to get you oxygen. This should help a ton. Perfect, okay. This should help a ton. We have salt. I think we do, but we do. Okay, we totally do. Okay, so this is uh, again not in game, you know, not how we'd run this full time, but pretty close to. So this should save our butts, is basically what I'm trying to address. Someone needs to be high priority life support. You you get to be high priority priority life support. Yeah, that should this should be done by now. Huh? Some interesting stats when you automate something like bank statements. Year to date, I have had 812 825 transactions. Yeah, that sounds about right. I mean, that's sugar, isn't it? Holy smokes. Okay. Yeah, you guys aren't gonna have oxygen because you're being goofy goobers. Oh, no, don't reject that. I want to print those. You're being goofy goobers. I would like you to uh, just complete that, and then we should be good. And quite frankly, I mean, this is going to produ produce um, 570 grams of oxygen per second. That's pretty much five dupes. Hey, thank you for the follow, which me? Hope I'm saying your name correctly. Welcome on in. Have a good, a warm welcome to our newbie. Random prompt. Uh, hey, which need chocolate or coffee or chocolate? Which you like better? If you don't like either, that's completely understandable. But which, which, uh, yeah, random prompt. Yep. The random prompt here: select someone random in chat, or myself, or you. What is that? What is what? Coffee or chocolate? Is it randomly generated? No, not quite. It, they're from a list, uh, but the list is like user recommend, uh, uh, viewer recommend it. Like viewers choose what, what's on the list. We could do it. Uh, you know, we could just pipe in um, chat GPT to it. To be completely frank, that'd be kind of funny. That would be, that would be, I was thinking it was an API to chat in chat. No, it's not. That would be cool though. Oh, you know what? This isn't quite going to work. It's going to produce the, the, the oxygen, but the carbon dioxide is going to be too much, is it not? Yeah, it's, we need to make like a carbon dioxide pit almost. Yeah, we need to make it to where the carbon dioxide all goes down there. I think that's our, our plunder. Our plund, our blund, huh? I know how. Yeah, I mean, I, I would be able to figure it out, I'm sure, but it's just not something that dawned on me to even do until today. All right, we're getting some oxygen distribution here. It's not great, but it's something, you know what I mean? 
So I asked someone? Wait, what? The prompt. Oh, no, no, that was a question directed at you. Yeah, like, like, which one do you choose? I broke that tile and I didn't mean to. No, it's all good. Yeah, it's a little confusing. Some of them are, uh, someone, I won't mention any names, I'm not picking on them, but, uh, they, they suggested a whole bunch that, of, of prompts, and they were, like, from a, um, going on a first date prompts? Like, what, what do you ask, you know, your, your date on a first date? And some of them are hysterical. Hysterical to read in chat. They're, like, not raunchy or anything, they're just, it's just funny. It's just, like, that's not something you would ask someone in chat, they're a little bit too personal. Or like one, one, another one's like, uh, nice shirt. Where'd you get it? And it's it's just it's hysterical. Okay. Can we guess who that was? No, 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 no. You could probably go, I mean, if you really are interested to know who, who suggested those, you can go into Discord, into the suggestion channel and figure it out, but I'm not gonna promote that. I'm just gonna tell you it's available. Ice? Holy smokes it is. Whoa, what's that? What is that? Is that the teleport how you go to different like planetoid things? What do we feed these bad boys? Sulfur, that's right. Yes, sir, Bob. Uh, my name's not Bob. that one there chief same thing about the other word hey that's all right it's twitch we're here to read things wrong and have fun i'm french canadian ah dude why is it like all of a sudden like everything about media i'm consuming has to do with like quebec canada and like everybody i'm meeting is from canada like, you ever have one of those moments in your life where you learn, like, a word and it pops up everywhere? Dude, I just found out the wonders of... Oh, I already... Bulk Mart? What's the store? Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. What was it called? Bulk Barn. Yeah, Bulk Barn. You Canadians are keeping Bulk Barn a secret from us, I found out today. Today. Literally today. Yeah, we don't have stores like, well, we kind of do, but they're not nearly as cool as Bulk Barn, okay? Yeah, I'm super jealous of Bulk Barn. Don't even at me. Get out, just, no. You guys don't know what Bulk Barn is? Just go Google it. I found a Google walk around of a Bulk Barn. They're absolutely fantastic. It's new here? They're fan, that's the most fantastic store I think I've seen in a very long time. A very, very long time. It's fantastic. And then also, um, guys, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be a little bit nerdy here. I'm not like a, a person that like role plays, but I like fantasy. I love fantasy. I love, you know, like Tolkien fantasy, like just, you know, D and D, all that kind of like Renaissance stuff. I just love it, right? So, and there's this, there's this, there's this like, okay, there's a LARP thing. There's a LARPing thing near in between Quebec and uh, Ontario, right? It, it's called, oh man, I forgot the name of it. Bocaline, what is it called? 
Does anybody know what I'm talking about before I make a fool of myself? It's basically like a year round LARPing thing. It's like on 300 acres of land and it, they do like full scale like LARP battles and stuff. It's fantastic. And before I die, I want to go. And it's uh, but it's all in French. Like most of the ceremonies are in French and like I just took a lot of French, but I don't remember it because I stopped using it. But I used to like listen to French radio and like read French newspaper to keep up on it. Uh, but I haven't used it in years. So you mean med medieval stuff? Yeah, medieval stuff. Yeah, like like uh, Renaissance fair stuff. But this is specifically fantasy. It's specifically like, um, you know, magic and, and sorcery and, you know, fey and, and medieval wars and politics. And yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, there's, it's, I think it's called Bocal, I, I can't remember how to say it. Is it Bocaline? Ah, I'm, hang on, give me a second. Bicoline, there you go. I said it wrong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If anybody's into LARPing, go, go research that. Yeah, yeah. If you're into like fan it like high fantasy and role play, like go go uh go research that for like ten minutes of your life. You'll get stuck down a rabbit hole. I'm already warning you. It's impossible not to, but Yeah. It's fantastic. There's a French documentary about it. Unfortunately, all of the ceremonies and all the like cool stuff there and even all the posted, like the, the posted signage is all in French. So like, I, I can't enjoy it as much as someone that would be French speaking probably would, but it's very cool, very cool. I, you know, I read the first four books of Harry Potter in French. I know enough French to get by in that, or I used to. But again, it's one of those things I haven't used it. So if you don't use it, you lose it. You really do. Like language is one of those things you will just lose so quick if you don't if you don't use it. I prefer English. I've heard a lot of people say that. I've heard, I've heard a lot of people around the world say that that they prefer English, and it's like. English is three languages on a trench coat. It never makes sense even to English speakers. Like, like American English speakers still are like, this language sucks, but we don't use anything different either because we're too lazy to learn it. And don't have, we don't have it. I shouldn't say lazy. Lazy is a weird word because it's not that we're too lazy to learn it. It's that we have no necessity to learn it. There's, there's no reason. Why would we? The country's huge and they it all speaks English. And most countries outside of the United States are even learning English and prefer English. Like there's no desire, there's no necessity, desire, or want to learn another language. So it makes it hard to learn another language. But in fact, Ben Franklin wanted to make the official language of US German. I can believe that. I can totally believe that. We'll let some of these gases kind of layer out some. The carbon dioxide just needs to get, get out of here. Like, just leave. You know what I mean? Like, just leave. I don't know how all this oxygen's trapped down here. So we settled on not having an official language at all and now we're here. Yeah, basically. Like, I truthfully believe this. Again, someone can correct me. This is anecdotal. This is not based on any, any research or evidence. I totally believe if you lived like in the Southern part of the country, like California, Southern Texas, Florida, you get away 100% speaking Spanish. I truly believe it. But also wanted the national bird to be the turkey. I, that makes sense. That totally makes sense. And I actually, I would get behind that. 
I would get behind that. I could totally get behind that. Dude, I wish they would just pick things up. Like, why is that so hard for, for dupes? Learning Spanish, we have a very high Hispanic community near me. Yeah, like I said, I, I truly believe that you could get away in the United States just speaking Spanish. I really do. Again, am I, I, it's not based on any evidence. It's just based on my experiences of ever exploring those places at any capacity through the internet or in person. Dupes be busy. I guess so. I guess so. They just too busy. We got a dash of salt vine farm going on down here. Before you know it, we're going to have a drop pit for, um... Yeah, that's what I want. The automatic dispenser. So we can just start a drop pit. I don't know where I want to put it, though. I kind of like having it somewhere central, but at the same time, I don't want to like destroy these natural tiles. And I also don't want to interfere with anything here. Or two, they do nothing but tidy up. Yeah, no, I just don't have enough dupes. Well, I do need one dupe to kind of do that. Once we get this done, we'll, we'll be on our way. Wait, did they already do it? Or is that not the right process? Oh, we want this to be number one. Yeah, just get that done. We'll figure the rest out later. Where do we drop all our stuff? I want it to kind of be central. Just, you know, swimming in ethanol, no big deal. We actually don't... Well, maybe we do. Let's do that. I don't mind that falling down there. I don't mind this void getting filled with, with ethanol, basically. I'm chill with that. Let's do that. That actually helps separate our liquids a little bit. This is going to just have access to polluted water now, isn't it? Yeah. Do we have anything growing based on ethanol? I thought the Nosh Sprout or something was growing in ethanol. This is much more breathable now. That's, that's actually wild that just one of these is doing that much work. Almost done with that. Made dupe? Yeah, we do need a made dupe for real. Like it's it's not a joke. Like I'm thinking about just digging a pit right here for our dispenser system. And there it is, I think, is it not? Automatic dispenser? Yeah, right here. Boop! I personally like just put two ladders there. I know they can jump out of it, but I would just do it just in case. Sweep only all nine. Now we just put things in pit. You know what we do? We just go into priorities, we go over to storing, and we just go all very high. 
and then we just after they get done sleeping we just yeah they'll just clean up the base for a while yeah and then they're all made dupes for a couple a couple minutes they'll just all be made dupes for a couple minutes And we just do a giant sweep. And then we will we cancel these ones because they're already in the pit. Perfect. Now everything just gets put in the pit. Let's go. Everybody just fill the pit up. There we go. Fill the pit up. Fill it up, punks. I love this part of the base where everything actually comes together and you're like, wow. Wow. Oh, beautiful. Just wonderful. Is this the modded save? Um, yes, 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 but no, but yes. Um, like the other one was a modded save too. This is the DLC, the, the downloadable content save. Yeah, I, I think that's, maybe that's, maybe that's not what you meant, but that, I, I think that's what you meant, but. Cause the other one was modded too. They're cleaning. Everything's getting cleaned. That's what I thought you meant, but yeah, yeah, it is. Yep. Um, it's actually pretty cool. Things seem a little bit simpler, uh, and it seems like things are a little bit faster and locked, but it also seems more complicated because I think there's just more asteroids and stuff. There's more places to go, but again, I don't know yet. We'll figure it out. It's been a learning experience. They're, they're cleaning up. I mean, every single dupe is doing their duty. If you do that for a couple cycles, they'll be, they'll be good. That whole base will be cleaned up. Power? Who needs that? They don't need power. We just need more cleaning. Let's get more rust. More cleaning, more rust. I like it. Just clean more. That's not even a bedroom because... Or a barracks, you know what I mean. It's interesting that they sleep different durations and I think they're all on the same schedule are they not they are hey whoa live action pixel welcome in thank you for the raid holy smokes Welcome in, Jay Butcher. What's your man, Kit? Welcome in, live action pixel. Pixel? I cannot speak. Hang on, let me reset. Welcome in, Concord. Welcome in, uh, Num Nums. 007. How we doing? How we doing? Playing some oxygen not included, it looks like. How, how was your session? How was your save? What were we working on today? Everybody go uh, check out live action pixel. If you like what you see, give them a follow. I am Beer Killer. That almost looked like Bee Killer, and I was about to be terrified for my life. Welcome in, Raiders. How are we doing tonight? How was stream? What you guys like about live action pixel? Tell me something that made you smile, that made you happy. Welcome in again, TJ Resin. It's the, it's, it is the TJB. We have arrived. Welcome in. 
I was fighting Volcano, trying a new way to tame it. Ooh, Volcano Taming. I'm not, uh, well, this is a new DLC save, so I'll, I'll introduce myself and the save and my experience with Ani a little bit here. So, hi, I'm TJ. We play some games like Oxygen Not Included. That's kind of the main game again. Um, I also just do a random assortment of a variety of games and Community Friday nights. So, welcome in. Keep it uh, family friendly here, just, just to let you guys know. What else to say? What else to say? So yeah, this is my first DLC save. We just started it on Thursday. So we had Thursday and today, uh, just a few hours into it. It looks like uh, 5.2 hours into it. I'm learning the DLC save. Like I have no idea what this actually does yet. Um, if you want to spoil it, go for it. I, as far as I know from watching other people, I think it takes you to another asteroid, but I don't know how to use it or anything yet. Uh, I also don't know what the heck these things are, but we're figuring it out. They eat sulfur. We're feeding them. That's the best I can do. Uh, my experience in Ani is about 200 hours of no tutorial saves. So I don't watch tutorials. I just listen to people in chat. If you guys want to like suggest things, offer uh, backseat gaming, if you will. I don't like calling it that all the time. But like basically I like playing video games in a way that it feels like I'm exploring something new every time. So think of back when you played something on a Nintendo or Super Nintendo and you had to figure out how to do things. Uh, by asking your friends at school or random people on the sidewalk, uh, you know, like backseat assisting. I like that. I like that. So I like, like playing video games in a way that allows you to explore things through communication and community building rather than just going up and looking up a guide. Um, I think it takes some of the, the mystique away from the game. So if you do that, but welcome on in, thank you for that raid. Thanks for bringing your community this way. I hope to entertain you guys for a while. How, so volcano taming, volcano taming. What were we doing differently to volcano tame? Oh, you got the book in an actual bookstore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I do miss that. I really do. Call me a boomer, but I really do miss those things. Try my best to experiment on stream. Yeah, I really, I really like playing this game on stream because, like I said, the backseat assisting, as eyes has just coined the term. Um, I do like that. I, I, I appreciate that. I really do. Like, it is something. Um, Playing this game as a community with a community is a lot of fun, especially when you start naming dupes after people and they are uh, terrified if they're going to die in the game or not. I think it's I think it's a good way to play. I do. I really do. It's fun. But again, thank you for that raid. Welcome on in. If you got to take care of yourself and de-stream, uh, I totally understand. If you're sticking around for a while, I appreciate that too. So yeah, basically the base right now is under fire. We're trying to get oxygen generation kind of going. Uh, my my solution to that currently is using a rusty oxidizer and then just keeping the chlorine for the dash of salt vine in this room. It's not great, it's not permanent, but with, a, with you know, 85 into the cycle without any oxygen generation, we have to have something. Like, um, I need to turn storing back to, to normal. This is just silly. We need to let them get back to their normal duties. They need to get back to their normal duties. So normally I would encase the volcano in a steam room. Yeah, as as you do. Okay, but you have to be careful of pressure. Yeah, yep. Yeah, this time I've tried to vacuum, but having the make sure I could solidify the lava before it turns into tiles and break everything. Oh, okay. So were you using like um, the laser drill thing in the bomb to uh, to turn it back like the tiles and break everything, or were you letting the tiles cool before you broke them? Because like tiles put off more heat than than uh, debris, right? Is that, is that true? Like they dissipate more heat, more, more heat, more quickly, more heat, more. Why does that sound so funny? More heat, more quickly, quicker, more heat, quicker. That sounds right. There we go. Trying to avoid the drill because they lose 90 or excuse me, 50% mass when you break them. Oh, okay. Okay. So I'm trying to turn them into debris before it does tile. Okay. So. From my understanding, the mechanics of it is, isn't there a certain weight uh, that chooses or like it, it determines if it becomes a tile or, or, or debris is based on weight. It's like 1390 something kilograms. 1390. I'm trying to dig back in my memory. Someone said it in chat once. 1392, 1394. If it's like igneous rock or something. Oh, it's different for different materials. Okay. That must have been specific than what, what I was working on in the past then. I think someone, I think whatever I was working was like 1390 something. 
Yeah, it must have been Igneous. Yep. Very cool, very cool. Yeah, the steam room is pretty cool. Um, in 1392, Columbus sailed the ocean blue. Okay. Okay, a Robotnik. I don't think... I don't think there's any... I mean, I guess you could sail a sea in this. Dude, I want dupes to be able to swim. How cool would that be? If dupes could just, like, swim a little bit, you know? It, like, could use up their oxygen quicker or something in their lungs, but I think it'd be cool to have them be able to, like, swim. And not have to, like, fall to a tile down on the ground or something. That would be so cool to me. So I have a question about the save. Maybe a dumb question. There's no dumb questions. There's no dumb questions. Just answers you didn't expect to receive. What's your question? I'm in half lurk mode as usual. I appreciate you, music. Thanks for thanks for lurking. I could show my other save off, but I don't think people really care. I mean, I, I as much so didn't care about it. Or I so much didn't care about it that I abandoned it. So the water reservoir you have on the left side and the level above it, uh, you have a door, but a gap above the door. Why have the door there at all? Oh, it was just there for organization. Just for like, that's where the room needs to be. So I put it there for mental note. Like I literally have a door that goes nowhere right now. It was just, this is how wide the rooms need to be. So I just put the door so I remember. That's it. Yeah, just planning. Cause I get so sporadic. I forget where I want to build things. So. They're cleaning up the base. I love to see it. We love to see it. We'll just let them do that while I chat with you guys. I love this game for streaming too, though, because it, it is a cookie. It's, just, it's a cutaway. It's just, it's an ant farm. And I can sit and chit chat with you guys while they do stuff. I can go, you know, I should get some food. I haven't eaten yet today. Oops. I've been up for multiple hours. We won't disclose what time I woke up. <clears throat> it's not important. It's, it's, uh, it's not important. Don't at me. What do we usually eat? Uh, food typically, but if I'm really hungry, sometimes I'll eat just like bolts. Yeah, rocks sometimes, yeah. No, flip that about 12 hours, Robotnik, and you've pinned me. <laughs> I know, it's bad, listen. Um, to be fair though, to be fair though, I did sleep like 12 hours. Done at me. Yeah, I did sleep for like 12 hours, okay? I needed it. I needed it. Like, I actually did need it. I slept for like one or two hours the night before. So, I just, I needed it. That's how they eat, heat the house. Ironically, I was heating the house. That's kind of funny that you say that. Yep. Yep. Not quite the eating sand and pooping coal, but close to it. 13 machinery? Wait, decreased machinery. Yeah, I'm not falling for that. Daddy, chill. Not worth, no, that was, that was ridiculous. It was a, it was a bait and switch. It was like, it looked good. And then they switched it up on me. And then it was no longer good. Well, it wasn't good to begin with, but it looked good in the start, you know? See, I'm so proud of myself. I actually planned according. Oh, that's not the this. I'm so happy that I planned for this. A cabin minus 17. I know, I know, I know. That's why I didn't take them, but it was cool. We could put this in here. Why haven't I put that in there? That's a good question. That's a mighty fine question. Why have I not put that in there? We should probably put another battery down. I know I don't have the really good batteries yet, but like that will help me. Your puppy is so cute. Minnie is adorable. All right, we'll build another battery because those are getting topped off, but they're just not holding the juice. I need to make a rock crusher and then we need to just get that going.
Oh, that's ice, and that is freezing, isn't it? Yeah. All right. They'll get. They'll take care of it. It's getting there. Slowly but surely, we're getting there. Slowly but surely, they're taking care of it. Uh, if I take a quick BRB to microwave some food and get some food, do you guys want chair BRB or actual BRB screen? Do you guys want like a cutaway of the base? Because I think it currently it's pretty idle uh, besides food. Knocked out around 11 p.m., woke up at 3.50 a.m. and couldn't fall back asleep. Yeah, that pretty much happened to me uh, uh, Saturday night. Was that Friday night? The catch is on fire, I'll scream. Okay, okay. I want food. I need food. Like, I, I actually, I'm getting to the point where I need it, so I'm going to have to just, just go, go get it. You know what I mean? Get that bread. As the kids say these days or whatever. What's our, okay. Is this filling with chlorine? No, it's just, it's not. It kind of is. It kind of is getting chlorine in here, but like it's not saturating the room with chlorine. There's too many, there's not enough plant. Is there like, I don't know. It's not, is there too many plants using the chlorine? Or is this under max gas pressure? That's why. Ah, uh, so it's not even at full optimization. That makes sense. Some ventilation would be good. I can see now. Yeah. We'll let it run. We'll let it run. We'll let it cook, you know? That's looking to be good. Good, 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 good. There's more there. I'm not worried about the water. Um, honestly, the decor is kind of hysterical in the base, because like obviously it's it's not horrible, but it's not great for like a starter decor. Is that a barracks now? Yeah, okay, cool. Sick. Fantastic. That gives him another morale. Fantastic. Okay, there's an ad running. I'm gonna go grab a snack at the very least. I need to I need to have something. So I'll be right back um, while that ad runs. I appreciate you guys. I will throw a BRB thingy over my face so people know that I'm BRB. Uh, and then I will be right back. You guys can watch the dupes figure out what to do here. Let's do a cutaway. Is there a way to hide the UI? I don't remember. Burb.
Okay, we back, and I even ate in that time, believe it or not. Did the music go off to it, that timing? Or, like, is it just paused? Oh, that was weird. That was weird timing. All right. How we doing? Base still alive. Stuff said there was a fire. I don't believe her. They're still storing stuff. Things getting cleaned up. It was a joke. Mm. It's a pretty mean joke. It was a prank, bro. What's our temperatures look like? Eh, not too bad, actually. Surprisingly pretty good. The save's not horrible, you know? Here we go, we'll make this back again. So we have access to all that. There is a printable. What is our printable? Ooh, fungal spores or more sandstone. Fungal spore sounds good, even though we're not like using it correctly right now. Wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful. I do say. Should we just make them all have high priority of storing again and just get the base swept up? Or should we just make someone a janitor? I think we just make someone a janitor. What's the, what's the stat for its strength? Cooking and ranching, attacking and, here, we'll just make, you, you're now our janitor. Oops. Yeah, you're our janitor. Beautiful. Things are coming together. Things are definitely coming together. So, uh, insufficient oxygen generation. Yeah, because that's that's kind of like maxed out. But realistically, what we could probably do is just do another one over here. Yes, that's all priority nine. You saw that, correct? It's all priority nine. Everything's high priority. So nothing's high priority. You know? This is how it goes. Yeah, everything's high priority, so nothing's high priority.
Easy peasy. What is a rad bolt generator? We should probably research that. Can I miss generate it rad bolts in the direction of your choosing? Uh, okay. Reflector. Rad bolt chamber. Okay. Pathogens, liquid based refinement, desalinator we need really bad. Wonderful. We'll get all these things kind of researched now that uh, <clears throat> now that things are a little bit better on the base and we have some actual oxygen generation, you know. All right, let's do that. That looks good. So they have they have food generation. They have some oxygen generation, not very much, but like. Enough. Good though, it's looking good. <sighs> Ivo, what kind of food do you want? Maybe we can get Chef Steph in the kitchen. Whip up some uh, hot bologna for you. And some cold cereal. Ew, what's, what, what's the matter? Um, duties? Cleaning. Uh, let's put this out like a seven. So maybe he'll come down here and get this done first. Maybe that will get our, our oxygen levels up and push chlorine down here. Maybe. Just maybe. Calories are definitely going up. I think it's... No, no, okay. Calories are going. They're stagnant, which is good. I mean, that means we're doing something correctly. Stress is good. Uh, sick duplicates is fine. Total population... Well, obviously, we're not picking more dupes, so the population's not changing. Um... Everything seems to be going good here. We just need to kind of like keep researching, uh, picking good dupes on the prints. Uh, our farms seem to be working correctly or as correct as, you know, you can hope for. Um, automation of, of our critter drop offs seem to be working well. We have enough meal with to sustain the dupes we have. Put another meal with there. They're gonna start making the, the lice loaf stuff, right? Yup. And then they'll. We could do pickled meal. Lice loaf's technically de de better than, than pickled meal, just uses water, doesn't it? Yeah, so let's turn that off. Or does, does pickled meal also use water? Does not. We could do that and just, yeah. Grub fruit. Grub fruit looks fairly simple. What does that take, though? Just takes sulfur. But it does make radiation. And what are these dudes? Don't they, uh... Eat it or something? We could try that. Maybe? I don't know. Like, I don't know what... I don't know.
We'll try. We'll, we'll try it. I kind of want to find some quirky way to like make a wild Weezwer and then see if you can use it as like a food cooler. I don't know if that would be enough or not though. Could do like a water droplet, food, Weezwer, or something like that. And then like maybe chlorine, like with the liquid lock, could be interesting. If you plant grub fruit, you should plant it in a floor tile. It's the same room, in the same room as Sweeties. That's what I'm trying, or Sweetles. I don't know why I call them Sweeties. That's what I'm trying to figure out. I don't quite fully understand how they work though yet. Requires upward clot oriented. Oh, that's because I planted, oh. Those are upside down. I don't know why they saved the orientation like that. Yeah, I'm trying to do the farm tile. I just apparently was being a goon and planted the, or did the farm tiles in the wrong orientation. I don't know why it saved that, that orientation, but it did, so. Yeah, I, I'm gonna try planting them like this, but again, I don't know anything about them, so we'll just plant them in here and hope for the best. I don't know how they work, though. They do put off a lot of radiation. I hope I'm not hurting my dupes with radiation. The shine bugs do too though. And there's a whole bunch of ra uh, you know, uranium right there. Mostly safe. Mostly safe. I like mostly safe. 9.8 thousand per cycle. Um, that's, a, that's a lot more than um, the nose. I'm a little concerned. Should I be concerned? Maybe there's nothing to be concerned with. I don't know. Maybe I should be terrified. What are you planting? I like I like when you guys plant stuff, that's fine. Mealwood, cool, okay. That's chill with me. Oh, no, why did I sweep that? I'm so silly. So silly. So silly. So, so silly. There we go. They're, they should start doing something. Grub flute. Oh, Sweetle tending. Cool. Okay, so you, you're gonna like tend to it or something. I don't. Why are you glum? I don't know anything about this grub fruit plant. Let's take a look at it. The grub fruit plant exhibits a co-evolutionary relationship with the divergent species. Though capable of producing fruit without the help of the divergent, uh, the spindly grub fruit is a substandard version of the grub fruit in both taste and caloric value. The mechanism of how, for how the divergent inspires grub fruit plant growth is not entirely known, but is thought to be somehow tied to infrasonic songs. They, these insects lovingly purr to their plants. Okay. Uh, produce high folly. Okay, okay. It does a lot of radiation though, and it takes sulfur, and then they produce grub fruit. Okay, and then we can use the grub fruit stuff. We'll go shine them eggs here. Yeah, grub fruit preserve. That's actually really good food quality for what it is. 
We better make sure they can't just eat rub fruit. Yeah, there we go. That should be good stuff. That should be good stuff. Beautiful. Beautiful. Now, if only we can get someone to come over here and dig this out. Gene, would you would you like to do the honors? Are you just... Let's see if we can get him to do that. So, don't bomb Lily, or it's a pinch of pepper plant. Pinch of pepper plant have to be awfully hot, though. Take polluted water. What else can we grow? What's the... It just says air pressure. It can grow in anything? Bomb lily seeds, don't. Those take chlorine? They do. So we can just stick like one. Just stick. Well, actually, let's do this. This is already a non natural tile. Let's just deconstruct this one. Amazing. Oh, that's not okay. That's not what I intended to do, but I mean, that checks out for me. Like, uh, oh, because I copied the orientation of it. I didn't even realize it did that. I'm gonna be completely honest. I feel silly for saying that, but I actually had no idea that that did that. There we go. Very cool. Okay. It's not 95 degrees Fahrenheit down here, I can tell you that much. What do these grow down to? Okay, negative 13 to 122. Wow, those are pretty hardy. Huh. That's actually amazing. That's, that's wonderful. Uh, let's take a look at our chlorine though. Are we actually getting a base of chlorine here? There's still so much carbon dioxide. I almost feel like we should put these inward in the room and get some kind of like gas bump going on. Like put them like dead smack in the middle or something like that. That's just wild. It's still working out, though, to be completely honest. Like, we're still getting somewhere, so I'm not too worried about it. I can honestly say the bomb lily's probably never going to grow. I don't think we'll get this room up to 95 degrees Fahrenheit, so I may as well just let the carbon fall through here. All right, things are looking good. Things are looking up for this base. What do we got going on with the gases, though? Yeah, we really need to separate this this from this. Looking a little rough. A little rough. 
Just a little rough. Not like super rough, just a little rough, you know? How's that radiation looking? Uh, it's not, we're not cooked yet. Water's looking kind of sketchy though. We should probably get a desalinator made and get over here and, uh, you know, maybe analyze that bad boy. I have no idea what that could even be. Teleporter is pretty cool though. I'm excited to see that. Don't know what this could be either. Is that a thermal nullifier? No way. Is it? No. The base isn't right. It kind of looks like it, but I don't think it's right. We're definitely getting oxygen. This is kind of working out. I like this much more than just, you know. I don't know. I kind of like these Morton's bombs, to be honest. Like the rusty oxidizers. I just feel like you get more out of them. I know it's weird because you don't really, but like it just feels different. How's this chlorine getting all the way up here? That really doesn't make sense. Cold water, too. Ha! Huh. Hopefully, we can use it for something and do something useful with it. This is a high priority errand to just come figure out because I want to see what's in this room really bad. And I'm impatient. So, there you go. That's the truth of the matter. Oh, hey. Okay, it's one of those. Sick. I mean, I'm still very happy about that. Oops. Didn't really mean to put that as that high of a priority, but oh well. Wonderful. This is working out so well. So we'll we'll get the water from there. We'll harness all that water. That will treat us well. Um, oh, there's the dream journal thing. It's actually really close to our base. That's going to be pretty cool. That's actually right in line with our base. That is, I've never had that happen to me.
That's wonderful. That's going to be so cool to actually have that in the base like that. Let's do that. Yeah, I know. It's right. It's like, that's so cool. We have to activate that and actually use it and get the buff from the dream journaling. That's going to be so cool. We'll probably just end the base right there and just kind of make a cutoff line and come back up. I'm really like this five arch or like the five way design too. Can we build uh, fire poles? Yeah, we can. We'll build them out of uranium. No, I'm just kidding. I don't know if I want that on the inside or the outside, but for right now, we're just going to do that. Fun fact, pips are 220 pounds and will crush me alive. Holy, are pips actually that that heavy? Does it like, where do you, hang on. Does it say that in the... Oh, just under property, mass, 100 kilograms. What in the world? Bro, it's like a 220 pound squirrel. How heavy are dupes? Only 30 kilograms? We gotta get feeding them. We gotta get feeding the dupes. They gotta put on a little weight. Little, little things in this game? Yeah, it is kind of funny. Teleport receiver? Teleport transmitter? Teleport receiver? Wait, does that mean you just teleport from like here to here? Huh. That's, that can't be right. Robotic arm? I'm, I'm, I'm afraid. Stuff's all scary. Huh. Oh, a data bank. Can't reach it, but... Lovely. We have oxygen generation. I really... Is that room cleared out of carbon dioxide yet? Not quite. It's getting there, but it's not quite... How's our oxygen going? I mean, we're getting there. We're getting there. It's not fast by any means, but we also don't have any circulation. We're just hoping that it goes up. Just not good at doing. I can tell you that much. I can tell you that much. Granite, coal. Oh my gosh, that's magma. Already? Wait, is that the bottom of the... There's no way. Oh, they're smaller asteroids, aren't they? On DLC. That could be the bottom of the map, couldn't it? Huh. Oh yeah, that's the edge of the world, isn't it? 
Like that is the edge of the world. Wow. These are small asteroids. Huh. That's, oh yeah, so that's it. You just get here to here. Huh. And then you have to take the teleporter to get somewhere else, and then there's a surface, I guess? I don't know, we'll have to figure it out, I guess. I mean, it's kind of seeming what it's like, but. We'll let them do their deal, get this base sorted out. How did meat get in there? There's no way this thing does, it doesn't do meat, does it? How did we get? Interesting, I don't know what happened there, but. Yes, I have this poor dude sweeping like a mad person. Don't really care. Sweepy doop. That's what they're doing. Yeah, he's just sweeping. We'll just wait it out. We'll let them just do their dupe things, you know? This is a good colony so far. Whoa, whoa, what is that? What is that? Bro, what is, what is that? A grub grub? A Sweetle egg? It just kind of looks like a really cool caterpillar. What is a grub grub? No, I say I, I'm genuinely excited about a lot of changes of the game. Like I that it like I you're gonna hear it a lot. Oh whoa, we have one. I don't know what it is, but they're gonna like eat my dupes, right? We'll probably move these around so that because of chlorine vents, I mean, it's not really good for anything right now, except for maybe like bomb lilies and stuff. I feel like we just give Gene a little boost here.
Dang, dude. We can barely grow a dash of salt vine. Do we have ventilation stuff yet? I mean, we do. We could just like filter the whole base, just put all the chlorine in here. Make one of those mechanical uh, gas things suffocating. Who's suffocating? Can you not suffocate? Thunder. He's gonna die in the machine. What do I do? He's literally gonna die because he was in there. Oh my goodness. Gene, you lucky son of a gun. Oh my gosh. That was uh, something else. Decrease science, why? The cuisine's not even that big of a deal because it's not like it's just gonna max up to 20 anyways. That really stinks that it's a slow learner, but plus 10 science. We'll just do the food. Yeah, that was crazy. I thought he was dead for sure. That is, I mean, yeah, that's pretty bad. Next, we're going to win some gotcha game at the same time, and it will roll right before the, the super ultra mega rare. So th they'll have to watch that all at the same time. So we can get him to plant right here. Probably should work, I think. Maybe. Well played. Hey, uh, at least they're alive. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? It could have been much worse. They're lucky. What in the world? There's brine? Wait, what? What's up here that there's brine here? Is that just from the ice? Must be. Must be. Okay, I mean, things are starting to... to how did a Draco get in here? Where is it being moved to? We don't have a Draco farm yet. We should, but we don't. Their gas is looking like we're getting there we're getting there things are working out and this room's gonna start filling up with chlorine which is good because then those will start growing I feel like we should just move this closer maybe like deconstruct all of this I hate that they're using an aluminum ore because I want them to be using iron. I just accidentally hit aluminum all the time. There we go. That should help us quite a bit. There we go. That should help a bit.
Those should just eat up the chlorine. Give us something. Not sure really what, but something, you know. It's taking forever to sweep up the base, though. Even with the janitor. Like... This must not be strong enough. Should we hang on? You know what? We have a lot of skill points to spend and like overall. Overall, it's looking pretty good. Like. I, yeah, I think it's time to spend a few, a few skill points here and there. There you go. Maybe Lindsay too, applied science research. There we go. I like that. That seems good. Maybe Jean will, uh, what's your skills at now? 19 excavation, 10 strength though. You gotta get working on your fitness, bro. You gotta get working on your fitness, Jane. Where's operating? Uh, no, you're no longer an operator. You're full-time tidier. Full-time tidier. Get going. Listen. That should help him a lot, though. He should be able to carry a lot more, which is important. There you go, Gene. Yeah, he can carry a lot more now. Yeah, like a ton more. That's so, that's so good. Yeah, there we go. Beautiful. Gene will solo uh, carry the whole base. Beautiful. This is actually working out so well. I did not expect this save to like actually go this this smoothly and this easily. Harvesting ready. It's on auto harvest, so. Cool, okay. If I knew Dash of Solvine were so easy to get to use up chlorine, I would have done this on another save already. This is kind of wild. Cause all I really have to do is just do this. And we're, we're like golden pony boy. Yeah, and then like all the all the produced chlorine is just gonna stand there, and the plants will just eat it up, and you won't even have to worry about it. That's wonderful. I wish I would have known it was that easy to get rid of. I'm about ready to just make a carbon dioxide skimmer down here. I mean, look at this. That's that's wonderful. You 
You know what we could do? We could get a pip. We could make like a natural tie here with a door glitch or whatever with aluminum. Gonna pip to plant some uh, oxy ferns down here. That'd be pretty sick. Just recycle all our carbon dioxide. Hmm. Could just deconstruct it, honestly. Probably the best thing would just be to deconstruct it. Run a thing all the way down. We don't even, let's just put two planter boxes down at this rate. Looking pretty sick. I'm excited about this save. Like this is this is gonna work well. I don't know anything about the space stuff, but I don't know anything about this dude either. I feel like he's gonna kill me, but he's 200 kilograms too. He poops out mud. What do you do with mud? You just make dirt out of it? Oh. That's a water positive application, like to, to, oh wow. Random downpour, it was sprinkling earlier when I was coming home. Earthworm Jim will consume you all, for real. Dude, I want the mod where you can uh, name different critters. There is one, yeah, um, yeah, I'm stating that I want the mod, yeah. It's, it's pretty cool. I mean, you could have a lot of names, but it's still, I think it's pretty cool. What's a Radbolt generator? flowers in the gym, you know? Of course. Flowers in the gym seem good, you know? Is there any other plants that consume carbon dioxide besides the oxy fern? Like, consume it.
Gene is cleaning house. What a guy. Look at him go. Everybody's starting to clean house, actually. Find out by reading about CO2 in the Ani page in game. Can you actually? Liquid carbon dioxide. <laughs> Carbon gas, carbon dioxide. Yeah, we just want like. Okay. Carbon skimmer. Dev life support. What? What? <laughs> what is what? Sandbox one? Oh, I was gonna say. A beta? What is a beta? There's bees in this stuff. There are beehives, beta hives, beta hives. They're aggressive, though. Moderately radioactive nest. What? Converts uranium ore into rich uranium. Huh. I eat uranium, too, actually. That's funny. It has a lot of calories in it. That's why I put on so much weight so quick. I wish they would just like drop this stuff in quicker. They'll get it cleaned up. It takes so long to clean the base up if you don't clean it up often. Should we just give everybody a little extra carrying? You'll be like right at the brink of destruction. Oh, no. Can't do it. Still not great in the oxygen, but we have oxygen. That's the important part. We do have oxygen. But nuclear B power is your in your future? Maybe. Nuclear B power. I don't even know how that works. I'll take your word for it though. Mine is eight athletics. Oh no. Can I make it to where they have to like wear them in and out of the bedroom or something? That's horrible. Dude, you're not getting it. No. Get, get those off. We'll figure it out later. Ooh, they don't like the, the temperature here. That makes sense. It's a little chilly in here. It's a little cold over there. I don't really have anything else, though. We'll figure it out. We'll make it work. 
body temperature? Why is everything so cold on this planet? Why, why is this, why is this so, why is it so cold everywhere? Why is it gotta be frozen everywhere we go? Why, why is this planet frostbitten? Whoa, we have one of the big boys. Is he safe? Or is he going to kill us? Oh no, he seems very friendly. He's a little cramped, but he seems very friendly. I don't know where I picked this accent up from all of a sudden, but I'm gonna stick with it for a little bit longer. Where'd you come from? Huh. Recharge? Huh. We're gonna start the biggest sleep we farm known to man. Oh, <gasps> what is that? What is it? What is it? What are you? Hot polluted oxygen vent. How do we tame a hot polluted oxygen vent? Whoa. What is that? Is that the hermit thing? How does one tame a pol hot polluted oxygen? Whoa. What is this? We fit to find out. Lots of air fresheners. Yeah, I guess so, but like, how hot is it? Like, we gotta cool it? Like, do we plant a whole bunch of weeds around it? Is it gonna melt this whole biome? What do we do? You know what I'm saying? Like, these are the questions we gotta ask. I don't get it. I say we just crack it open, see what happens. Just fill this place up with hot, polluted oxygen and see if it uh, thaws out this entire place into a water pit. And if it does, we take our ways work and we run. 11 strength, increase, in, in, increased, increased science. It's not a bad dupe. That's not a bad dupe. I like Hassan. Hassan's all right. I'm taking Hassan. Yeah. I like Hassan. Him's pretty cool. We need to make him a bed. Priorities. Hassan, you are now... Captain of the tidying and sorting. You are janitor Hassan. You start with a whole point. There you go.
Oh, it's too many tiles now? Now it's too many tiles? Huh? What if we close that off, huh? How about now? Okay, it's perfect now. Beautiful. Beautiful. Look at this. This is such a lovely little base. L lovely, lovely little base. So we'll come down here and taste the magma. <laughs> I mean, what? I still don't know how this thing works. Like, I know they, like, turn stuff in and, like, get a dream journal out of it, and, like, I don't know. Something like that. We'll get the hot polluted oxygen vent, you know, kind of buttoned up right there. I don't know what we're going to do with it yet. Don't, don't question that part of it. Is it time to get schedules going or do we just leave them all in one schedule? I think we just leave them all in one schedule right now. Schedule schmedule. I, yeah, that's how I'm feeling about it right now. See, as you can see, the charts are looking good. Numbers are going up and the bad stuff's going down. Red's bad, so. The green stuff's way up since last uh, quarter. Purple stuff's uh, trending in a good direction here. So, base is looking good. Supply teleporter unit? What is that? Why does it have gas pipes on it? What is that? What? What are those? I mean, I know what that is, but I have no idea what that is. Hey, there we go. We're really moving, moving the payload dirt now. I mean, like, we're getting somewhere. They're they're storing stuff. Whoo! Look at them go. It's almost like forty percent of the base is taken care of. Um, what happened to your butt? He had a butt earlier, didn't he? Thought he had a butt. Doesn't he have a butt? Or is he like all stacked on one tile? I think he's all stacked on one tile. Man, oh man. Yeah, this asteroid's pretty small. That's kind of crazy. Uh, yeah, there's like no airflow in there. We should probably do something about that. Hey, huh? Do we have airflow tiles yet? Did I, I mean like I had to, yeah, we do.
There we go. That was weird. I didn't try to hit deconstruct, but it like just started spamming deconstruct. Let's put random airflow tiles and it doesn't really matter where you put them. I mean, it kind of does, but like it doesn't. Hopefully that helps some of our air spread. I really want to keep these natural tiles, but at the same time, it's like, will I actually use that for pit planning? Probably not. I want to try the pit power mod where pips can like run on treadmills. Does anybody use that in chat? Any pit power mod users? Any of you? You don't support forced animal labor? I heard the dupes just animals? Is it because I can't unionize? Is that why you're against it? They're peeing out radiation. Am I getting that right? Minus one rads. Are they peeing out radiation? I'm, I'm, that's what I'm getting right now. Minus two rads. I think they're peeing radiation. Yep. Oh boy. Radioactive piss, yeah, basically. <laughs> we need a rock crusher. Do I have that researched yet? Yeah, I do. We could plop it. I don't know, we probably should get some better power lines going. I feel like this is just kind of silly. Here's what we'll do, here's what we'll do. Oh, it's only 240 watts? I thought it was like 900 for some reason. that was like yeah I don't know why but I thought that was like completely different Probably could just run a power wire down here. No, let's not. Let's just get him on the treadmill.
Oops, I actually didn't mean to make that that high of a priority. We're gonna do it anyways. We're gonna put all of our uh, ice and just have it dispense into here. No, we'll just do priority. I, I don't know why I hit a priority. I call it priority 11 because it's exclamation mark, exclamation mark, you know? So it kind of looks like, yeah, anyway. Ice. Snow. Snow is not a block you can actually like. Oh yeah, it is. Totally is. Yeah, no, it absolutely is, huh? For some reason, I think snow is a block you can actually like pick up. Amazing. Dude, those two are putting in the work. Is there oxygen? It's still like just not moving well. I mean, it's again, the fact I'm not using enough airflow tiles, but holy smokes, dude. Here, we'll get some airflow tiles going. Let's go like, how, how big are these rooms again? 120, so 30 tiles. If we did over five, there'd be six of them. How about, how about every six, there'd be five of them and there would be a center point. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's not right. Close enough, whatever. It's whatever. That's good enough. Can't keep all those natural tiles forever, you know what I mean? Do more ice. Getting there. Dude, we have a ton of sleep wheat. We can start growing. Maybe we figure something out here. Maybe we go one, two, three, four, stop, one, two, three, four, stop, one, two, three, four, stop.
How's it going, Geek? How are you doing tonight? Chilling for a few before bed? That sounds pretty nice. Yeah, Steph, how's your base? I mean, that's pretty good. Alive's pretty hard to beat, you know what I mean? It's just frozen salt, that's crazy. Do we have enough for the good, good batteries? So we'd like to just deconstruct these completely. That probably wasn't my best move, but. To, are these top to bottom priority? Are you gonna make iron now, please? Thank you. One hundred kilograms of iron. <laughs> Right, you are making. You're not doing table saw, right? Right? I think she's good now. I just need you to punch that thing one more time. There we go. Smart batteries. I'm a little behind the times, but you gotta do what you gotta do. Boom shakalaka. The jumbo batteries actually hold more power? That's kind of crazy. I never knew that. They just leak more of it too, right? I did not know these held more power than smart battery.
They just leak two kilojoules per cycle. That's not that much. That's really not that much. Yeah, wait. 400 jewels per cycle? But they have two. I mean, these leak five times as much, but have double the power. But they don't have automation, right? That's the big difference. Yeah, okay. That kind of makes sense. That kind of makes sense. I kind of want to just do this. I think I shall. I wanted to keep a lot of the natural tiles, but I think it's important that we get some airflow going here, so. I think it's important we get some airflow going. Huh. I wonder if we can just break this and get some of that uh, chlorine in here. Probably. That's not looking too bad. Okay, so we'll bring them water or something. I don't know. Mirth seed husbandry. Just under press and rubies while under stress. Eh. That's not bad, but like the decree science, I don't like that. Shine nymphs, let's go. Don't care. Easy. Easy. Everybody go to bed? Everybody go to bed. Dude, we have a place to store the ethanol. You guys are just gonna like, actually clean it up. All right, we have good food production, right? And power seems questionable at best. Um, You know what that means, right? Everybody just goes high storing for the day. Maybe not high, but like... Janitorial mode, go. Time lapse of cleaning up the base, go. dirt, but I think I have sedimentary rock now, don't I? No. Apparently, I do not. What is a grub grub? Oh, it's that thing. That's right. Yeah. 
Cause that's fine. We want those are allowed there. I just I didn't know what they were before ten minutes ago. Okay, things are things are moving along. Running low on water, aren't we? Yeah, we are out of water. That's that's something, all right. So we're gonna need to. Uh, what are all these data banks? I don't know. We'll move it over there. Research. What do we... Virtual planet thingy? Wadi. Uh, no, we need a water. Um, pump. We need a liquid pump. That's what we need. one of which is researching the geysers. I don't, are they in base game? Cause I've seen the mention of the word, but I've never seen them. We'll do this. We'll just get all of this liquid for right now. Thunder? Oh, come on. Warm it up before you make it water? It'll be fine. Actually, no, you're probably right. Um, quite frankly, what if we just did this? What what? Huh?
Let's do that. What in the world, Geek? What are you singing about? This is obviously something I uh, am not getting the reference to, per usual. How do you suppose I warm this water up? It's a meme before memes were meme? Oh, okay, I got it. That checks out, honestly. That, that checks out. Yeah, that brine's pretty cold, actually. Um, we need desalinator. What am I doing? Desalinator. That's true, that's true. Why are these all aluminum? Wait, those aren't aluminum. Oh, that's the, the wire. Um. I was thinking about using it just to cool batteries or something even. I can't think of what to cool, like what would, um. What makes a lot of temperature, like, unironically? Just like what we'd want to be using. A kiln? We could cool a kiln. That'd be kind of funny. What if, for right this second, we did something like this? I don't have thermal uh, pipes. I don't have the good thermal pipes, these. We'll do the budget ones. May not be in the right place for currently. Yeah, I don't know. I'm just trying to get some water because we're like literally out of water. So. Gotta do what you gotta do, you know what I mean? cool down this there's a polluted oxygen hot polluted oxygen vent right here we could just use this water just to cool this down but i mean to bring this above freezing will be good and then we i mean we're just we need to heat it up anyways and we need to bring that down anyways so why not use the two, you know, you see what I'm saying? Like, why not just use the two anyways?
Uh, no, I'm just saying it's gonna do it anyways, if that makes sense. Like, why not do it? Just because it doesn't work well doesn't mean it, like, we don't need to heat this up and we don't need to cool this down. Oh no, they made a mess. Cause we don't have water. Cause we're out of electricity and we're out of water. Well, we're not out of water for the, the bathroom loop at least. Here we toss a spawn at one. Oh, that's not a bad idea. Steel, just flat steel. I mean, we can make steel now, but like steel? For free? That's what I'm saying. I might just take it. But the ice is pretty cool too. I'll take the steel. What I'm thinking is also, I could just use this as coolant for a, uh... For a, um... Refinery. New idea, new idea, new idea, new idea. Someone's got to run on the treadmills. Someone get up there and run on that treadmill. There you go. Yeah, here we go. Yeah, that could work. That could solve our problems. I'll bring it up above freezing. I think so. Um... There's something else I want. Oh, I need to replace the wires here. Or we just let them bust with this. Starvation? Who's starving? Oh, you guys are stuck in here. No. How do you get? Did something melt? Welcome on in. Enjoy your ad reviewing the emotes in my undying love. Steph, thank you for the bits. Listen, listen, listen. Come build them, come build them ladders. Come build them ladders, at least they have oxygen. You guys have the materials here and you didn't build yourself out? What the heck? What the heck? You just look at the dupes and go like, why? Why are you like this? Yeah, no, that's not gonna work. Um, kind of almost wants to work, but it's not gonna work. Hey, 
Hey, I appreciate it. I appreciate it. I really do. I hope I am entertaining some people for some, you know, for something. If it's just background noise or if you're actually laughing at me or if you're laughing with me. Those are all good things in my opinion. I mean, some people are getting a real big kick because I'm playing out the DLC and I'm just like, whoa! What are those? What if I'm not laughing? I mean, that's okay too. You've had your fair share of laughs at me, don't even lie. Or face palms at the very least. Yeah, I mean, if anything, you've gotten you've gotten your face palm words out of it. Waiting coolant. Well, you guys gotta build this. Like, what are you doing? Let's go. Should we just hang on? Let's be realistic here. Do we just? I think we just do this because they are really not getting the point of whatever this is. Yeah, they're really not getting it. Now you come down here and build this, you absolute goon. All right, there we go. Free coolant. We still need a kiln, though. And I think we can use that to, like... Cool this, too, maybe. It might be a little overkill, but I think we should be fine. I wish they would sweep more, like... They've almost got the base cleaned up. There's just still junk everywhere, man. They're getting there. It's we're getting there. Is, let's look at this first. Okay, whoo, it's still, is it because we have no power? Oh my gosh, it's because we have no power. Can someone please run on these? We have some of this higher priority now, so. All right. Should be good now, should be good now. Should be good now. 
I do need some kind of passive light, like a generator that doesn't take intervention. Um, that would be the best. These don't, these can just be like 50%. They don't have to be a hundred. There we go, sick. We're getting somewhere. I don't know where it is, but we're getting somewhere. Getting somewhere. All right, do we have the pipe research? Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Again, this is your, wait, wait, did that, that went back up to a hundred? Why? Interesting. I, well, maybe it was, I don't know. I thought I put it to 50, maybe I didn't. Maybe I only just did the two. We're getting there. I must not have, yeah. I mean, the game doesn't lie. It's user error. I did something incorrect. I just don't know, you know, how, when, or why. Why are you focusing on these fives rather than these nines down here? Unreachable bit build. But there's a ladder right here. Unreachable. It's because this. This one of these must have melted because they were able to reach that before. Spicy tofu. Oh, 13 strength with science. Do we want another tidier? An operator, maybe. You need to confirm to dupe their skill. That's true. Can you afford one? I mean, calorie wise, yes. Oxygen wise, eh. Space and, f like, otherwise, yeah? Dude, I can't keep my oxygen running right now. But he's a good dupe. He's quick learner with 13 strength. Cycle 828 trying to get a steam rocket set up and rapidly losing interest in this base. Everything seems to be in the wrong spot. That's literally what happened to me my last, the just base I was on that was on like a thousand, a uh, cycle of a thousand. I was like, I just don't want to deal with this right now. I just want to play, so I just want to, I want, I just want to start over. I mean, I have spicy tofu highlight it. I just, I had to highlight it. It's like I was saying, I, I always joke the rule is like um, for buying stuff at a store, if you've picked it up off the shelf and started walking around with it, you've already bought it. You know what I mean? So like an Ani, if you've highlighted the thing from the from the 3D printer, you've already, that's what you're getting. A 
battery bank just in case we lose power. <laughs> I just hey, you what? Know what's not uh, going out right now though? Our internet. And normally when we'd get these thunderstorms like this, because that stupid wire was bad, our internet would go out. And we finally got someone to take me seriously and do something about it. That guy was so nice. I wish every service tech was like that. That dude was amazing. A dude that can't dig will some, so, uh, do some supplying to Foxy. Uh, we'll do, yeah, yeah, just get stuck there. You could just dig this one block, you could live. Yeah, no, that happens all the time. It's all carbon dioxide now. That's not right. That's wrong. I know, but like, I don't know how it happened. Like, I get it, like the physics behind it, but like, I guess what I should probably do is make a farm tile down this low, or maybe even this low, and get these to take that in and then just break this tile. Or just... I don't know. Let's get rid of this at the very least. Well, yeah, they don't probably eat enough to take care of all of it, but that wasn't really the point. No, we should always just deconstruct that for the oxygen. LED light? Where is this getting its power from? Wait. I know you guys can reach this. Quit playing with me. What is going on here?
All right, we're making some iron ore so I can get some power cord ran. Gonna need quite a bit of it. Hey, welcome to the Beehive, NT Sammy. Everybody give a warm welcome to our newbie. Thank you for that follow. All right, finally they're building this. It, it, it felt like a Dragon Ball Z episode where it was like a three episode arc to get this done, but and it's still, it, we're still waiting. Never. What in the world was that? That was a car? Was it running on methane? Like what the heck? It's <laughs> the craziest thing I've ever heard. Well, not ever, but you know what I mean? It's time for bed, have a nice night. You as well, geek, thanks for stopping by. I appreciate it. Hope you've entertained I entertained you for a while. Aw, oh, he calls it home. We're gonna nuclear power this hive at some point in the save, I think, because that sounds like a really fun project. Nuclear bees. Sounds like a sick, sick thing to me. Everyone hail to the pumpkin song. We do have the pumpkin song. Geek, did you get to hear the song that we were working on? I should put it on the soundboard. Do you have like, I know you said you gotta go to bed, but do you have like, uh... I'll try to be quick, sorry. Actually, I don't remember where I saved it. Maybe I should just show you. No way, I found it. Could be a little bit louder on the soundboard. That's about right. There we go. There we go. It does sound like an N64 intro song to like some video game, but you know, we're not going to talk about it. Based on the blink of the blink power drink, sorry. Slide Yeah, no. I think they just like slipped through the intersection because I went too fast. That is so bizarre looking. I need to see that like two more times. Yeah, like I think they came in like I don't know, started drifting. But anyways, that's the, that's the um, how bizarre, how bizarre. That's the uh, that's the song we worked on the other night. But yeah, we had a that car that just made a whole bunch of noise where I was like, what the heck? Steph, we have a camera outside for the porch, not for the traffic, but for the animals, and it caught it. It looks like what happened was they they came up to like a, a stop and then just like floored it and like tried to drift basically. Come on, we literally need two wires, Ram. Two wires. Current Aaron, two wires, and we're there. Of course, we're gonna need new wire made, but that's the hope and dreams of, of getting this thing set up.
I don't know if we should do like a transformer. Probably. Probably should do something like that. No out liquid output. Wait, what? Oh, come on. Is it seriously nighttime? Are they going back to bed? Oh my goodness. Water! Piloting. 20% rocket speed. Piloting. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy, it begins. Yep. Taking forever. Seriously, right there. I guess I can make cleaning a six. I guess. Seventy one degrees Fahrenheit. Perfect. That's like actually perfect. That's beautiful. Yeah, that's beautiful. All right, and, and I think we still use it to cool this, like we were saying.
I just can't get this this carbon dioxide out. Operating, fabricating or supplying, yeah. So someone gets it done, we'll get there. I do the hydrogen hood method. It's still like some kind of other power generation. Hydrogen's like, you know, a clean power generator. I would like just to essentially make a hydrogen hood. I don't know what the heck this thing is. I don't know how to use it. I don't, I don't, I don't know nothing. I don't know nothing about nothing. I accidentally hit sweep on my uh, pile. I wish there was a mod that just let you literally say, don't, you're not allowed to use this command on this thing. Like you cannot use the, the sweep command on this tile here. Oh, that's pretty, that's pretty active. Quite honestly. Could we feed this water into a spawn maybe? I don't know. Well, if, I, I mean, we really do need the water for other, other things, so. good stuff. It's working pretty well, I'm not gonna lie. It's working pretty well. Not, yeah, not gonna lie. Heats that water up. We got a, a use for it now. It's literally just keeping this frozen, basically. We have sleet wheat for days, which actually they're not eating, are they? They can't eat, eat just sleet wheat, right? No, they cannot. You know what they can eat though? Frost buttons.
when frost ones are actually a pretty good jump into like decent food off the bat, in my opinion. Like the plus four morale food. What was the one we were all freaking out about? The burgers or whatever? What's the really easy one to make? The, the spicy hot stuff. I don't remember what it was. Pepper bread. Yeah, why isn't that on here? Oh, is that the... Do you need the other grill? Do you need the natural gas grill? Ah, that's right. Okay. I'm afraid to go see what this thing is, but we'll do it anyways. Bomb lily seed, eight medicine. Nah. We can like make two of these batteries now. Keep the base going overnight. They've almost got it all picked up. I'm so proud of them. They get up and charge those batteries. Amazing. I feel like I should have put a liquid reservoir here, though. I guess I still could. Just put one here and here. That's not quite how they want that to work, but. It will still store liquid. It's just gonna be super quirky. No, it won't. It won't do it correctly. We'll need a bridge. We'll just do a little bridge. No big deal. N B D. Why did that get overloaded? Am I missing something? That's 240 watts off of it. Bing, bing chilling soon. We'll let it just pump into there for right now. It's not gonna like that pee water. That's all right though. No power.
Dude, how does it run out of power so quick? Aluminum? Did I want those be made out of iron? Oh well! <laughs> I guess they're aluminum. I mean, that's not a bad thing. I just like saving my aluminum for like thermally conductive projects. The gases are starting to look a lot better. I think we could probably just do this now. Insane idea. Like off the fritz idea, ready? figure out what to do with those later not my problem uh no my theory here is instead of using this water for water supply we'll just do a little bit of water supply but then we'll just convert it into polluted water by getting rid of our carbon dioxide and get our gas layers really sorted out here sand looking is our sand holding up anybody know just off the top of their head how much sand i have 33 tons that's pretty good did we have any bets at 33 tons Why is there a tile randomly missing here now? Was that ice or something? Makes no sense. Or sand, maybe it fell down here. I don't know, that was, that's very odd. Okay, cleaning duties. Back to nine, get it done. 
<laughs> Moo ha 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 ha. No, honestly, I hate when it's messy. It's the worst. Anybody else hate when your base is just falling apart because of mess, just filth? Uh, unintentionally, this kind of like made a filter. Desalinator is not going to like that polluted water, and quite frankly, I have no idea where it came from. just in there I guess I could like not <laughs> well yeah but it'd be the last thing on my priority list yeah I made it like I just I don't know I hate it being messy it's just the worst feeling in this game honestly I'm gonna break one of these. I hate breaking natural tiles. It makes me cringe, but what are you gonna do? We're just gonna try to get rid of all of that stuff. Building entombed, planter box. Oh no! This could be the most genius idea I've ever had at the same time, possibly one of the worst ideas I've ever had. We're truly going to find out together. Wait, does polluted water not damage this thing? There's no way. Or is this just not allowing polluted water through? What is going on right now? Aluminum or whatever. This must just not have got hit by the polluted water yet. There's so much polluted water, I don't know what's gonna happen. I don't know how so much polluted water got in there. Anybody else know what just happened there? And how 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 bad the desalinator is gonna get hit? A drone! 
Draco! We got a Draco! We just need hydrogen for that bad boy, which is actually really easy to make. Like, when you, when you talk to, like, when you would talk about, when you think about, have you ever had a dream? No, for real, though, if you, if you think about, like, hydrogen, I guess actually making hydrogen in real life isn't that hard. You just need electrolysis, which you can do with, like, car batteries. Never mind. Don't listen to me. I said nothing. Wild. How oh, is the desalinator still just not getting blasted? Oh, the desalinator doesn't care if there's polluted. I thought it would get damaged by polluted. Wait, is it not damaged? Oopsie poopsie. I didn't know that. No, no, that would do that. Um. Good to know that it doesn't care if there's polluted water, but now I have to figure out what to do with the polluted water. Do we just run it through? Do we just run it through? What do we do? Do we just run it through like that and then just filter it? Like, filter the whole water supply? Keep you running serious? That's what I'm thinking about doing. I just, I thought, for some reason, that it, the, the polluted water damaged desalinators. I don't know, oh, what am I, th what am I doing? What am I, what am I doing? I need to pay attention more. Oh, I'm being a goon. Uh, are you just gonna fix the tank or what to do long term? Um, I mean, I'm just trying to think what to do with my water supply in general. It's kind of a, a mess. Kind of a show right now, if you know what I mean. Like, kind of a little bit of a mess, so. I'm thinking what I do is I just rerun it through the desalinator, or through the, the sieve, and then just set some kind of automation up to open this up. Cause we can do that, can't we? Be a long run of wire, but you could do that. Just if this tank is X fool, allow this to open, and then spit this tanked water from this loop into it. That could work. It's not the most elegant solution, but it's also not the worst. Um, it's not a very good system. So um, this is a brand new save, brand new save, like eight hours in onto uh, DLC. I've never played the DLC. Mostly just trying to figure out the critters and stuff, which shouldn't take the, you know, be that difficult. But uh, the water loop, essentially, there's no water supply except for this cool salt, uh, cool salt slush geyser right now which I was pumping up liquid from down here. I'm just gonna omit that and I'm gonna come up here and create it. Same idea. So we'll just pull water from there, desalinate. I'm gonna warm it up using a metal refinery and then send it up into this base, you know, up into this water storage. Uh, then I had another idea, which is even better. And I'll run it through carbon skimmers first, come up here and then, you know, sieve it or store it, then sieve it, but. That's, yeah, not exactly what I meant to do. 
I'm gonna have to bridge so it doesn't backflow. Yeah, we're gonna have to do that. Yeah, that's what we'll do. Those tiles breaking, do you have airflow tiles you could lay down? At which part? The, these? It's a mess. I'm gonna have to probably redo the whole thing. It might not be a bad idea to just do what I'm doing and pump all this water up into this tank, or two tanks even. Maybe that's what I'll do, I'll do two tanks. Just for right now. Oh, I didn't know they were immune to pressure damage. That's actually really, really good to know. This is kind of a mess. I don't know, this is kind of silly. This is kind of really silly. It could be worse. Yeah, no, it is with the refinery. And then I'm probably even gonna use it to, to warm up. There's, or excuse me, cool down, excuse me. I'm gonna warm it up by cooling down. There's a hot oxygen vent here. Yeah. No, I have to figure out my water supply. Uh, it's gonna become a limiting reagent here really quick. Like really quick. It's already bottlenecking me. I need to just most likely make a new water, sub like a water pool of some sort, because this is a mess. This needs to be refined so much. This is already really bad. This is already horrible. Um, well, let's get another tank put on it for right now. Dude, why is it taking her so long to build that? Is her construction that low? I don't even see a bar for it. What in the world? Must be all the stuff under it. I can't even see the bar. All right, holy smokes. Okay, let's do this. Nah, it was, she's just, her construction just must be that low. I don't know why she was building it. I have like a dedicated builder, but. I definitely did. I agree. Um, let's do this. Let's do that. We could build this on the same level. Would that make more sense? We'll do this for right now, since that's what the build order is. We'll just leave it be. We'll just leave it be. We'll pump this whole thing out, we'll get it into here, and then we need to drain these out, we will. Yeah, 
Yeah, this is this is kind of dumb of me. I'm not gonna lie. This was kind of dumb. Cause there's no purpose to pump this whole thing up there. Snip. There's no purpose in doing that. Was it not to get the polluted off? No, I mean it. Uh, no, I was just I was just pumping to be completely honest. I was trying to set up a loop and I just wasn't paying attention to what I was doing. And I was like, oh yeah, this is just, just gonna pump it all up. Um, the intended outcome was to not do that. The intended outcome was to use the sieve for these uh, these these um, carbon skimmers down here. That was the intended solution. Then I had just accidentally I don't know what I was doing. I really don't. I, I wasn't paying attention and then I wired up this pump into the, you know, or plumbed up this pump into that. You love to see it. Quite possibly I might. Go for it, shoot. What's your idea? Just throw a disanalysis, excuse me, uh, save in line here, maybe? I think the easiest fix would just be to throw a save in line. Before going up with it. Just on a loop. I was just gonna feed it like this. This could work too. Let's just do this right now. Oh, they need fresh water though, don't they? Ah, they're gonna get damaged. I tell you what, I think we just throw a desalinator here. Or not a desalinator, uh, sieve. I don't know where exactly, but. I said we just do this. I need to take a bigger look at it. I mean, it's either, okay, so the only thing that's gonna come out of this is desalinated water or polluted water. So this doesn't even need to go into our main, this can go into Yeah, it's because it's an early development. It doesn't really have, I haven't really, you know, played with it enough to, I just tapped this literally like 15, 20 minutes. Well, maybe an hour before you came in. Um, did not know that either. 
I thought they consumed power no matter what. That's good to know. Oh, they already built that one. Then yeah, hang on. Let's do this. Well, no, we do want that actually still. So then we'll come back off of this. We'll come back off of this. Gotta clean this up a little bit. Listen, I'm a professional. I'm a professional plumber. I got this. I'm like Mario over here. You wait. Listen, maybe I'm not like Mario, okay? I got it on YouTube, okay? Listen. <laughs> um. Listen. It will be soon, don't you worry. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so we jump across there. We do a little dance, have a little fun. If it comes out here, it's good and clean. If we like clean, it goes that way. If we don't like it, it's that way. And then uh, we can just deconstruct all of this. And we can probably also deconstruct that as well as that. As well as that. Uh, let's look at our polling. Yeah, no, we can destruct all of that. All right, I got it. That should work. I, I got it, I got it. I can explain it. I can explain, I'm holding it for a friend, okay? No, but for real, I got you, watch, okay. So what happens is, we get <clears throat> water from here, regardless if it's salinated or desalinated, whatever it is, right? So this will handle all the water-based liquids, brine, salt, polluted water. It will go on this way, it will pass through the desal, or the, the, um, sif, which like you said, will only use power if it's polluted water. It will then take and feed down to the to the skimmers, and then it will be this will be a loop, right? But if this loop is full, this bridge should then prioritize only passing it up, which will then go into our clean water storage. So regardless of what's in there, it will always has to loop through the uh, this first. And then half will split off right now. Well. Oh, yeah, because this isn't hooked up right now. I was like, how is that not working? Should split half and half, which is fine. I'm fine with that right now. And this should eventually get backed up or stop working. Um, so half of the clean water will go up here. Half of the clean water will go down to our skimmers. Our skimmers will then pass out polluted. 
that will then go to our sieve. And this will create that little infinite loop of always feeding the, the skimmers. It's a little convoluted, I admit, but it will work. It's a little convoluted. Okay, listen, it's a lot convoluted. Could I just make another bridge here? Is that how that works? Would that prioritize down first? I actually don't know how bridge priorities work. I mean, it doesn't really matter. This is working. It's just convoluted. The first input is prioritized. Yeah, I think this will work. These aren't going to use that much water. They never do. This is just absurd. There's so much water not being used here. I feel like I should have made this up a level. It's undormant a couple. Yeah, it's not hurting anything, especially because it's a pass through. So I did it as this. So like if this one doesn't have any, the water goes to this one. So it's not that big of a deal. If they're both running, great. If they're both or not, fine. It doesn't it doesn't really matter. And then any water that passes that bridge's input is gonna go up. Oh, okay. So we want to all go down first. You need a, a bridge that has its output going down. That's pretty much it. That's what I thought. Yeah, okay. Is it too cold here? Oh. The water's not like freezing, is it? No. We're good. We'll be fine. Chocolate eggs. Ooh, mole hands with nine excavation. I kind of like that. Oh yeah, food morale bonus is not good. But mole hands is cool. I'll take the Dracolite eggs. I'm already highlighting them. Bro, there's so much nasty oxygen up here. Okay, so what's going on here? Why won't these disconnect? Oh, they do. Interesting. I don't know how to use this thing at all. I, I, I see there's a teleporter, but again, I don't know how to do any of this stuff. Okay. I'm trying to do just uh, manual generated power. So if anybody has any suggestions on how to make that better, I know it's kind of silly to do, but I just want to try manual generated power for a while. Um, what is it manually generated? I wouldn't mind hydrogen either, but I'm trying to go for that silly achievement.
You just need more dupes? Okay. That's fair. Hydrogen is definitely how I got super sustainable. Yeah, no, I think it's the best way to do it. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, 32 dupes would be a little extreme, but uh, not impossible. To be completely honest, definitely not impossible, but. If I could get a good Paku farm up and running. Yeah, I, I mean, I don't need all the achievements. I just want to try for that one right now because that's one of the ones I haven't gotten. I don't really care about like an all achievement run. I just want to try getting that one on this save just because I want to I just want to see how much it takes like how many cycles of, of generation like that. I mean I could do the math too but I just wanted to see Oh. That's pretty cool. Okay. Wait. Electricity? Oh, the transformer doesn't have any power. Why doesn't the transformer... Oh, missing tile. Oh, because those are ice. That really stinks, and I wanted to keep those natural tiles. But I didn't realize they were ice. Because I wanted to do pit planting on them and do a... Another series of parks of the ladder system. That's all right. Happens. Oh, yeah. I'm just running everything as base. I don't know, having them all manual generate on a base this size is not that bad. Like that's, it's working for me. It's not not working, if that makes sense. The oxygen's getting pretty good now with these two running more perpetually. I mean, Most of the carbon's coming up into here, which means that these are going to just put, uh, eventually they'll start using a majority of it up and then the carbon skimmers will do the rest down here. A lot of polluted oxygen down here actually. Wonder if I shouldn't just throw down a uh Dang, the ice freezing is gonna get really annoying.
this. Okay, we'll see if we can get all that out of there. I could do that. Oh, are we out of sand? We are. I need to put another rock crusher down. I kind of forget that you need the rock crusher, not just this. Let me put another rock crusher down. I often forget that you actually need it. You know, the question is, where do I put it? Maybe right here? That should be fine. Let's go 40. Yeah, we may have to come up with some way to get rid of the, uh, some of this water. I want to use the dream to analyze the thing of the bob, but I don't remember how to do it. all of this up. It's like, move it. Yeah, there's the hermit house thing of a bob. I didn't even finish that in my last save. I got I started it, I got most of it done, but Lime. Um yes and no, I know some of it. I mean I I, I thought I understood it. Is there something I'm failing to understand that you're noticing? I just have the infinite storage set up with this.
Yeah, it's at nine. It's at nine, so. I think this is also at nine. Yeah, it is. Yeah, probably. That seems about right. Yeah, I normally run pretty low population colonies. Like all, all of my colonies have been like under 10 dupes. Or like, I think the last one was like 11. We're getting there. Things are going pretty well, I think, on this one. God, I'm gonna have to figure this stuff out, but. C destination? Oh! Oh! So this is the asteroid we're on. This is the one we can see? Oversee planetoid? Wait. Can I, can I, you can look at it, but like you can't go. Oh. Do I, oh, okay, okay, okay. Okay. I think I get it. So do you, you send someone through this, they end up on this planet by wherever the, the output is. And then in order to send them back, they go through here on that side. Like, do you have to make one of these? <gasps> oh, I see. I see. Okay. And then to see, this is teleports items back and forth, doesn't it? Ah. Uh, or, or does it do gases too? Oh, it probably does gases and stuff too, doesn't it? Supply teleport input. So does this supply that planet with something? Oh, solids, liquids, and gases. You supply that planet with solid liquids and gases through this, and then do you find the other input on that side, or does it just like pop out somewhere? Dang, okay, I, I see. Dude, does steam generation count for uh, the one achievement? Steam would count, wouldn't it? I think it does. I don't remember what the achievement's called, but. No idea how that works. I'm getting the space out of the DLC eventually. I said the same thing. I had a, I wasn't going to get it. I was just going to play vanilla because I don't know. I have a lot of fun just playing the vanilla bit game. I bought it and then started a new vanilla save. And then I was like the other night, literally, here, hang on. It, this is important. This is lore. Oh no, I'll have to restart the game, won't I? Because of the other ones that... I started doing this... I have a... Hydrogen vent? A thermal nullifier? And a steam vent all near each other on the map? Like, within, like, 100 units triangulation of each other? And, uh, I was gonna use all three. I was gonna, like, cool the hydrogen vent with the thermal nullifier, and then use the steam to power it all, right? And then use the water to then cool, then cool the water from the steam generator in the room with the, uh, oh, excuse me, with the, the thermal nullifier, and then send all the water back to the base when it was done, and it was just causing absolute nightmares. It was an absolute nightmare escape. It was actually just, just of nightmares. Inventory 
useful? Yeah, I didn't know that at the time. I didn't know that until I got into into like 90% of the project. Yeah, that was part of the problem. Um, and then I tried to use a thermal aqua tuner to also cool liquid and it was, yeah. The whole thing was a nightmare. Do you not remember? Were, you were here that night when I was like, the all the water in the pipes were becoming steam, and then I couldn't get the room to vacuum out because it was, you know, steam was entering it, and it was just, it was just an absolute nightmare. Yeah, it was just I could not get anything to work. It made me want to quit the game. So then I tried a DLC save. That's where that. That's why that came up. No, I, I gave up and started a DLC save. It actually pushed me over the edge. It, it actually pushed me over the edge. So I just started over a new save. The rest of the base was actually going really well. Um, I d broke to the surface for the first time ever. I had ne I've never done that. So then I started setting up like a, a surface like base to start learning about launching off the planet. Um, that was a little rough because I was figuring out about meteor showers and stuff and I was struggling with that, but like I was learning, it was getting there. Wait, you have to... That's a gas intake? I did not know that. Yeah, no, I had a steam turbine, yeah. The problem is I couldn't figure out how to cool the hydrogen venting correctly, even using a steel air, uh, a steel air, um, or excuse me, a steel gas pump, because it started overheating. And I was like, okay, if I just drop water in here and make it into steam and then generate out of steam, the problem is I still have the hydrogen issue. Like I can't have a room with steam and hydrogen. So it was just a mess. Yeah, no, I couldn't get, figure out how to get the heat out appropriately. So. So like, theoretically would use like metal tiles next to it and then use water on the metal tiles. What leaks heat out of the room? The only thing I can think of was like metal tiles. Yeah, like aluminum metal tiles. But even then I wasn't getting the cooling I was thinking I would get. Cause I did start down that route. I did start doing that. Uh, but it just wasn't, it, it wasn't like cooling the room enough. So I was trying, I was getting there. It wasn't working for me. I wasn't having fun, basically, so that's why I'm on to something different. If that makes sense, like... My theory is if you're not having fun, just find something else that is fun. <laughs> Do something different. Okay, this is, uh... Somewhat working. A lot of oxygen just stuck down here, but overall, not too bad. Hopping around games randomly, like saves like an oxygen not included or games as in like video games in general. I Oxygen, I kind of stopped playing video games besides on stream and oxygen not included lately. Like in the last... I don't know, probably three weeks. I haven't played any video games off stream and I haven't played anything but Oxygen not included. I'm trying to think if that's accurate. Yeah, like three what? weeks, if not longer. Oh, another reason I'm doing the manual power is to get all of their athletics up really high. 
Which is working. I think when someone is in an Ani mood, they're really in an Ani mood. I know, it hit me like a wave. Um, so I used to play, last year I played Ani quite a bit on stream, and I played it for a couple months straight, uh, just exclusively. Well, I played like two days a week on stream, then it became like three days a week on stream, then it was like four days a week on stream. Um, but someone pl opened it up in a Discord call one night and was like, man, I've never, I bought this game and I've never played it before. I should, is it any good? And I was like, what game is it? And they're like, it's Oxygen Not Included or something like that. I was like, yeah, that is a great game. And I watched them play it for like four hours in a Discord call. I, I just watched them play it. And then I was like, man, I want to play Ani again. So I did. I do go through the streaks too. I don't know. I just, I'm, yeah. Gone through tens of Draco ranches and volcano heat using designs, yeah. My last base was the most successful. It's one of those things. This game's like every time you boot it up and play it, the better you get at it and the better your bases become. I really want to... come back down with this and like this is gonna get full but can I just delete them Is it when I buy spaced out, the Drekos will come in real handy? Yeah, I like Drekos. I love the branching in this game. That's my favorite portion of it, is just ranching on the critters. Like, this is obviously not the greatest, you know, setup on any of these, but it, it, space constraints and otherwise, new base. Like, but this, like, I like the the, the hatchling farm like this, you know, learning the, to exploit that in a way. And the Drekko farms are fun too. It's all fun. I didn't know you could keep so many of these without them getting cramped. But I think they're different and spaced out. I think they're only eight and normal and in DLC they're 12. Can't you just break this one? Doesn't it just drop bottles? We're gonna find out. I'm pretty sure it just drops bottles. I don't remember. I'm pretty sure it does. Yeah, it does. Sick. That's so cool. Dude, I hear fireworks. What? Those are definitely like in game. What were those? Seems to be working out. Like it. Yeah, this this save's even called the reboot. Beautiful. Beautiful. Uranium. Why can you build like everything out of uranium ore? I hate that so much.
yeah, I have uranium right here and I feel like I should do something about it, but it hasn't caused any negative consequences yet. So I'm just leaving it there, not worrying about it. There we go. Good old bathroom loop. Yeah, I don't know if I should like break it and store it somewhere or what, because like, it says it's mostly safe. Whoa, wait, Wee's words give off rat. Whoa, slightly hazardous. I didn't know they gave off radiation. I did, what's, okay, so I don't know anything about the radiation stuff. I do those, the rad bolt generator. Attract nearby radiation to generate rad bolts. Emits to generate rad bolts in the direction of your choosing. What's a rad bolt though? Like, what does it do? Huh. Maybe we'll mess with this and rad bolt deflector receiving to redirect rad bolts from rad bolt generators. Oh, it's a mirror. Okay, we'll might we might have to mess with this a little bit. That's kind of funny. Huh. Very interesting. Very interesting. Very interesting. We'll have to play with some of that stuff soon. Huh, I'm liking this base as simple as it is. It's, it's just kind of just working, which is all you can really ask for. So they should start appropriately using the sleet wheat now. Why don't we get some pips to grow some uh, Weezwurts in here? with a little bit of hydrogen and put Dracos in here. Or at least start a Draco farm in general. Cause we could we could get pips to plant um we could tear this up real quick and just get pips to plant uh mealwood in here, I think. These are terrifying still. They're cool but they're also mildly terrifying. Yeah, we need to make 
these farms a little bit better because they I I just I can't I don't want to do anything with the chlorine gas pen. So like maybe we'd make them up here or something. Spicy tofu. Ten machinery. Slow learner though. I don't like that trait. I really don't. The minus three science to me is just really, really rough. Oh, this is not great either. Yeah, we're just gonna go for the spicy tofu. We'll just go for that spiky tofu. Here you go, puppy. Let's see, what other things can we get done in this base? Um, I mean, overall, everything's acceptable. Like, yeah, we're gonna wanna get to other planets and stuff. I really don't, I, I guess we could just stab at it and try it. I just wanna make sure I send like the correct person. And I have like most things that I wanna have research and food and we should probably figure out how to use this real quick and see if like what happens if we just send something through it and get power to it. We probably should figure out power too. I think I think using steam for power on this save would be really good. We just don't have any good ways to get steam. The only way I can think of using it is magma. There's not a ton of it. I don't have anything else really hot, but we could look around. Whoa, what's this? Why is there only three neutronium things there? What is that? Minor volcano. Speak of it. Wait, why is this minor volcano only three wide? Can that happen? I didn't know that can happen. What's the achievement called again as well? Oh, what's it called? Super sustainability. We're like, not even close. But we can use steam and we can use. Oh yeah, that's not too bad. If we can use steam, that's not too bad of an achievement at all. Steam makes so much power for no reason. Yeah, no, we could totally do that. <sighs> so yeah, let's work on that. Getting getting steam through that would be pretty cool. Um, I mean, we do have a water supply, ironically, right above it. We would need, I would like to have more water supply. But if we do, I mean, you don't really need a water supply with steam generation. You just need something to drop it back in. Like we could use a 
Well, no, we could just use this and, and then some way to uh, automate it and then just send it back to the power grid. So like, I'm just gonna use the planning tool real quick. Um, so we could do like, Okay, you control the flow of lava by having a one wall thing. Isn't that called a magma blade? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Isn't that called a magma blade when you do that? So what if these were insulated tiles, right? What if we did something like this? We magma blade it magma out. I think that controls it. And then it goes a certain distance. And then we put like a auto miner thing here. I don't remember how big they are. And then like, Door, door, do, well, maybe not door, 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 but like door vacuum system thing. I don't know what to make it out of. I don't quite understand how that works. And then like just water room, right? Uh, we'll use orange for generators. Vacuum this room out, something like this. Steam room like that. And then have it automate temperatures and then just psh, 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 psh. That could work, something like that could work, I think. We just have to figure out the concepts behind this, which you can just trial and error it, like I said, because I don't look up guides. I just listen to chat. I try to listen very, very attentively to mechanics and then um, it, it, it figure out a way to implement them. So I think this would work. I don't know how this mechanism works, though. I'd have to have someone explain it to me. I could just look up guides, but I don't know. It kind of kills it, in my opinion. What do you guys think? Um, yeah, I was explaining it kind of, I was drawing it. So blue tiles are gonna be like insulated tiles. There's a, okay, okay, I'll, I'll give you a full rundown real quick. I'll give one quick rundown of this again. So I'm trying to think of a way to generate power, etc. you know, like use utility on my base. There's a, I found out there's a minor volcano here, but it's only a three tile one, which I didn't even know could happen. Um, I thought that was kind of strange, but I want to use it for, uh, uh, steam generation. And what I was going to do is, uh, I don't know the mechanics, so you can tell me I'm wrong because I know I am, but I think it's called a magma blade when you like force under one tile or something like that. Right? And then I'm gonna force the lava through here. Th this room will be a vacuum and I'll do some kind of weird, I don't know what, how this mechanic works, but like door vacuum chamber system to where it will like not transfer heat, I guess. And we'll do a sensor somewhere in here. And then um, we'll do like heat transfer, no heat transfer, heat transfer, no heat transfer, depending on the temperature of this room or the temperature of, of, of something in here, we'll, you know, use something. And then we'll do a room of steam and then just have it generate psh, 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 and dump back in. And then just steam generation. I think that would work. Wouldn't that work? Does that like conceptually work? The design might not be 100%, but like this, these are doors. This would be steam generators, blue steam, reds and uh, rubble miner. Cause this would cool into tiles, I think. Red, I'm debating if I want to use a miner in here or not. I don't know, like, 
technically if I had a blade or like some kind of way to force the lava into a low enough thing, it would just become residual, right? It would just become debris. No, I don't. What happens? Oh, does it just heat up and it won't transfer any heat? Okay, yeah. Okay, so then we want to make sure the lava flows far enough that it just becomes debris, right? So we just want this to flow long enough that it becomes degree, debris. So however long it takes to flow the lava to be like a single top, like a less than a single, like a moppable amount, if you will. I know that's not, you can't mop lava, but you get what I'm saying? Like it would just become debris at that point when it cools down enough, right? And then it would just eventually over time still be fine, I think. You can mop lava or magma? Okay, that's disturbing. I didn't know that. That's terrifying. Okay, so something like this, something along the lines of this. is what we're looking at. Several glitches. Oh, yeah, I don't know any of those. I was just planning to keep it low enough that it would become uh, debris or rubble or whatever. Sure. I mean, we can, I mean, what I'm thinking about, I'm going to be honest. I think we should do this tomorrow. I'm going to, I'm going to start like start with, you know, getting some things wrangled up. And then I think this will be for power generation tomorrow. And then that'll probably take most of tomorrow. But if we get past that, then I'll work on this and sending a dupe to the other planet. I think that'd be exciting, but I want to get things in here harnessed. And like, once you have access to water, food, and electricity, you're good. And then I'll get my dupes off of treadmills and doing other things more. If it solidifies in a mesh tile, probably becomes a tile behind the tile, because I know mesh tiles are weird. Because I've done that with glass, I think. It becomes like a hidden tile, doesn't it? Or like a weird, like non-obstructable, like you can't click it tile. Nearest open tile, okay. Oh, wait, hang on. Yeah, I do remember that. So if you do like airflow tile, airflow, or if you do like airflow tile and then, um, and we'll say, we'll say the white is an open tile. It like pops there, doesn't it? So like, again, using blue as, 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 Solid tiles are like uh, insulated tiles, and, and we'll say the green's a mesh tile. Yeah, it would pop over there. We'll try it. We'll do some stuff. I'm gonna obviously need suits. I didn't think about that. Uh, so, okay, so. Where is that most suits? Okay, right there. All right, we're gonna need Atmo suits. So tomorrow what we'll start doing is we'll start getting Atmo suits um, 
we'll set up a checkpoint somewhere in here for Atmos suits. And we'll start working on that. We'll do that tomorrow. Because we have a polluted oxygen, a hot polluted oxygen vent right here too. Which you can probably wrangle. That's what we'll do. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna wrap up there. I think that's that's a good place to wrap up. I think tomorrow what we'll start with is kind of those projects there. Uh, possibly tanning this, for sure. Working on this, not actually finishing it, but starting it and getting a good layout. Maybe testing the mechanics of mesh tiles and such. Uh, maybe we'll start you know testing the mechanics of like how far lava flows, what happens when it flows farther. We'll make sure we have suits before we start that. Maybe we get to figure out how to supply teleport input works and then maybe send someone to another planet But like again, I don't want to send them to another planet so I know I can send them things Using this including oxygen possibly it looks like but I don't know. I don't know anything about this So thank you all for being here. Hope you had a great time tonight I'm gonna start uploading these to YouTube as well uh, if you guys want to just even leave a comment, I know probably you're not, a lot of people are going to go back and watch a four hour VOD unedited on YouTube. Granted, some people might, or you might want to be able to skip through it, but just so you do know, they will be uploaded to YouTube from there on out. If they're too long, unfortunately, I cannot edit them with the YouTube editor and I don't want to re-upload them. So, uh... I'm going to start doing that. I'll try, you know, giving them titles based on what we did, or I will change this Twitch title, but I really like the feature where I just upload the VOD directly off of Twitch. If I so find the desire and energy to edit them, maybe I'll edit them. I don't know. We'll see what the feedback is on it. Um, but for now, let's just keep playing. I don't mind editing. It's really not a big of a deal, especially when we found out, we found, um, boom, or what's it called? Boomer, not boomerang. Um, Time Bolt, thank you. I don't really want to call it Boomerang. Yeah, Time Bolt and some of that other stuff. You know, like that, those are helpful tools. But anyways, anyways, let's wrap it up and go spread some love. Uh, today's quote of the day is, energy is eternal delight, William Blake. So take that quote with you guys. I hope you're doing well. I hope you all get some good rest and take care of yourselves. Tell someone they matter to you and then I will see you when I see you tomorrow, that means. But, you know. Uh, we're going to raid out. I'm not sure who to raid tonight, though. I'm just going to give you guys a selection of my follow list. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, or nine. I know there's only a few of you not lurking, so basically whoever whoever double votes is that's where we're going. Just go ahead ahead and type in chat what you guys think we should raid. One through nine. That's how many people I have online on my follow list, so it's not sorted by like viewers or anything. Actually, one of those is like a huge streamer, so we're not gonna go there. So one through eight. Three? Okay. If you're the only person that votes, I will go to three. I think you're going to be the only person that votes. Okay, we're going to go say hi to Redfire. Trevor, playing some Call of Duty. He's also family friendly, just to let you guys know. Uh, so just keep that in mind. I appreciate uh, that you respect that for, for their stream as well. Um, as always, take care of yourselves. Have a great night. Tell someone they matter to you, for real though. For real. Wait, is... Is he ending? Hang on, he might be ending. Hang on, hang on, hang on. He's ending. Never mind. He he's he's uh, he's raiding out. <laughs> um. Okay. Next three. TC Warrior. Let's go raid TC Warrior. Here's playing. He's playing some ranked Valorant. Uh, so we'll go give some love to him. He's also family friendly. So <laughs> just keep that in mind. Um. Well, I have. I've discussed, anyway, we'll, we'll just wait out. We'll talk about that later. Everybody have a good night. Buzz.